Ahoy, wonders, and oh. welcome back to the table. Ah, uh, hi. We made it through the Evergrudge, Grant. Yeah, we survived. We uh, met that presumably. guy's dad. I yeah. waited outside like a good boy. <laughs> no, no, Zito, no, we're not, we're not playing. That's no, we're not doing wrong, Warhammer. Wrong game. What? We are not spending ten thousand dollars on a single game, Zito. I mean, I'm not gonna <laughs> I, thought we, I thought we all agreed we're going to come in and spend at least four hundred dollars on three thousand point teams. <laughs> no, that was a joke, man. We 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 were we were, we were japing. Uh, okay, well, Grant, I have some very harsh choice words with you. Okay. <laughs> um, See, you see this? This didn't You're come cheap. It trouble. didn't come cheap, Grant! You're in trouble. <laughs> if something bad happens to Ezra, blame Zito. That's why I have this. <laughs> if something bad happens to me, blame Wake. <laughs> 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 All right, Japery aside, are we, uh... So you guys pretty much escaped the... What almost could have been catastrophe of the Evergrudge. Yes. We didn't escape. We talked with them and convinced them to go fight a dragon for I us. I finally <laughs> found my diplomatic avoidance of combat. There you go. We did it. And Wake didn't punch anything. Sure, he drove the axe through the neck of something, but yeah, that, it was, he was basically asked to. Yeah, it was an invitation. That was, that was consensual. Yeah. And we made it out of the nut shack. <laughs> God damn it. Yes. <laughs> a very apt the title. Nut shack. All right, well, allow me to finally use my new little dice Ooh. case. Ooh. Fancy. And we shall begin. All right. All right. Now, so you guys pretty much have turned the corner. You watched all the trogs just, like, booked it inside the mountain for doing yeah, what? They, you they, have no idea. They all crawled into various holes for well, various reasons. Will they be successful? You don't fucking know. You might have just sent them all to their doom. But uh, then again, their goal. But then again, success. Yes. But then again, they also, the, he also did tell you they kind of can't die. Maybe yeah. they're going to go slay a dragon with their undying bodies. <laughs> or maybe they'll finally die in no peace. Either way, I think we've done yeah. a good today. It's a win-win. We actually kind of set up a scenario with zero losses for us. I, I can think of a few, actually, but still. <laughs> well, okay, you know, put on the monocle. get real mad. Yeah, if they survive the and get real mad, or if they both get really <laughs> angry. <laughs> <laughs> the dragon's like, who when, told you this? When you hear a distant roar in the future, uh, in the far future, you'll you'll know. Ah, uh, yeah, we're probably fucking boned right now. <laughs> it's probably okay. <laughs> he doesn't know. Who There's we no are. way Pops Ravi remembers us. He's too important and big. To <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I mean, yes. <laughs> yeah. But for me, it was Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Ah, uh, he's such a nerd. He's one of those assholes holding watery armor. <laughs> also, I learned this is just a standard uniform. <laughs> why, would you why would you lie to me? <laughs> All righty. So, you guys uh, turn the corner and you continue going around the bend. Uh, for the most part, nothing has been too eventful. You pretty much just took a leisurely stroll around the castle. We've just been walking in shocked silence after everything. <laughs> after what we've seen. Okay. Yeah, these two are just hanging their head just like, oh. Yeah, Wake's just got the look. <laughs> thousand yard stare going Riss on. Riss looks at you in concern. Um, he, he lightly taps you on the shoulder. <laughs> uh, oh, I'm sorry. It was, are you okay? Oh, it's okay. You're not slimy. You're fine. <laughs> I just, mean, it was just really gross in there. He just like you watch. He like flicks his tongue out. I mean, I hope I'm not. <laughs> You're not. It's that was just a lot of, a lot of stuff in there. A lot of things that I bear in my memories. <laughs> Ezra takes this time to explain the, the plight of the Trogs with, <laughs> with their strange cursed immortality, the creepy goopy mess that was in that house, and. The corpse of the dying, ever living dad. <laughs> the ever grudge. <laughs> the, the curse the of the ever grudge. And you didn't take it with you. Nope, not a single bit of it. Look, if you want to touch that thing with your bare I hands, mean, you can we go, can turn around right now. You can go right in there and cradle it. I'm not going to stop you. Immortality. Just saying. Go for it. Sounds neat. The Asimov are immortal, so. See, then what's it worth? Mm, I guess nothing. At least not for. Uncommon folk like myself. Oh. Yep. I feel like we're doing a service not bringing this thing up to the surface and possibly letting it fall into the rock. Barabbas just looks at you and he goes, 
Yes. <laughs> Can you imagine a terrifying pirate lord incapable of dying? With a great thirst for blood. Red and wrist just go, mm. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Can you imagine that? Like that's possible? <laughs> that would be crazy. It would be an awful thing to have That happen. would be horrendous, and well, I hope that would never happen to anyone. Uh, why, you'd need the best damn dwarf and snake lady in the world to handle a threat like that. Exactly. Sure would. <laughs> All right, so continuously walking down the path around the side, you're watching as the mountainside to the left that's still, like, ebbing into the, uh, into the force field of the entire uh, city. You're watching as, like, the mountains are now ever shifting and changing into different shapes and forms, like... Again, that whole point of there are different mountains smashed together and then put in place is yeah, happening as you go along. Uh, you finally reach around the end. You actually look to your right and you notice that there is a really large, like what looks like a hedge maze, but it's completely trashed because there's a piece of the bridge that fell on top of it. So getting through that way, while it could have been shorter in the long run, was not going to happen for you guys. Oh, man, it looks like somebody worked really hard on that. That's mm. too bad. Yeah. Well, now we just climb over the rocks. I mean, they just get right to the center. Yeah, just, they put in so much effort. Oh, well. <laughs> <laughs> Does this hunk of bridge look scalable? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, it does not. That no, looks completely no. inscalable. No, it, it, we're not going to think about it anymore. <laughs> Continue forward. Wow, we really can't get in that way. This looks completely and utterly impassable. Nope, you, there's like an invisible force field just Holy stopping crap, you from it's going like made there. Of magic. It's, it's a small, magic small, invisible small. wall. It's you like, can't go there. It's like a blank in the universe where, that the mind of God forgot. <laughs> Well, I guess we'll travel around. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Okay, we continue to travel around. You continue to go forward. Uh, you're entering what looks like a small, narrow path that has what used to be like a ticket booth or like a bunch of like small little like shop areas. Because you're looking at all these like little signs as you go through the alleyway. It's like, here's like a cafe. Here's a place to buy some souvenirs. Here's an armor shop. Here's... All kinds of stuff. It kind of almost reminds you of the same way that the call set up the entryway to the Coliseum. As we're walking, okay. do you think the tr trogs like use this stuff in the way it was ever intended? Do they just have like coffee breaks at that cafe? I'm going to do a perception check to see if there's gross slime anywhere. That would be investigation. All right, that one then. Eleven. No gross slime. Uh, you do see that there are claw marks and uh, busted-in windows, so they've made their <laughs> they've mark here. They've ransacked the place. They've ransacked the place, but to what end, you're not sure unless you go inside. Okay. Well, it seems like they've certainly been here. Just Remember, not... they did tell you that they've been here for at least a thousand years. They've been here for a while, yeah, for as long as that mountain had crashed through. With plenty of time, I'm sure they just explored the area, got what they needed out of it, and then probably just left it for. Seems like there've been a dead. couple generations of them as well. So. Yeah, yeah. Plus, you're also you're as you're walking by, you're seeing the skeletal remains of the centaurs that were here ages long ago. Just you, Ezra, kind of like nudge, nudges his foot against one of them by accident, and it turns to ash and just like just falls to the floor. Yeah, these have been here a while. No, Eloy, it looks like your people like really got around the world like I'd never seen anyone like you before but I guess they kind of existed for a long time I mean as far back as our history goes but it, it wouldn't make much sense for us to have a history without us in it true enough we're not much for the keeping of years so I don't know just like quite the civilization I mean what was what was old lady Big Rock Mountain like like not like this I'm guessing no, we we weren't much for the building of, well, buildings. So it was more like like a herd. And honestly, that's that's why I like traveling around with you fellas, because back home, everybody you ever knew was always there all the time. I like having a room on the Yeldon with a door that I can close and then open again. That's pretty nice. <laughs> a plank of wood on some hinges is the one thing that keeps a simple man happy in life. <laughs> like... I like hanging out with you fellers. I like having the option of not doing that for a little while sometimes. Concept of privacy seems lost on your tribe. Yeah, not, not a big thing. Huh. And Red smiles. Well, it seems like you'll never go back to that lifestyle again. 
Yeah, not on purpose. So you finally reach like what almost looks like a coliseum. It's a large podium, and as we enter into the map now, you guys are at the very edge. So move the tokens all the way to the first uh, layer there. Oh no 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 no! Up Back there you go. Here. Yeah, right there. Ah, okay. We enter in a line. <laughs> yep, in, in a line exactly. Uh, the space opens up as you're now entering what looks like a small little arena. There's pillars that have been knocked over. There's a small pool of water where if you look up, there actually looks like there's a small bit of the barrier that's actually not completely closed and it's letting water in. Okay. That's probably not good. It, yeah, you found a structural weak point in the barrier because it looks like every time, like, even then, I want you to quickly roll me a perception check. Sure. That'd be a I've 23. New roll method, everybody. Check this shit out. I got a... <laughs> <laughs> I got a nine. Uh, perception for me would be a ten. Ten? And what was yours again? Uh, Twenty-three. Twenty-three. Uh, you notice that from the distance you're looking at in the water, it doesn't look like that pond in the middle kind of almost looks like it's a knee-high pond for, like, koi fish or something, or, like, some kind of, like, freshwater fish. There are clownfish and reeves growing out of it. So something has been trickling in. And even then, you notice that there's a pile of fish bones that are even bigger. And from a certain glance, you're like, oh, that's a shark uh, corpse that somehow came in here. Ooh. It's it's long since dead now, but the skeleton remains are still there. Oh, something in here ate that, or it fell and just, just died. Maybe it fell in and just... I mean, this is not a big pond. Maybe it just didn't have enough to eat. Yeah, can I examine the shark star. corpse and see if I can do, like, a... Like, do you wish I to guess, step forward? Yeah. That sounds, oh, that sounds like a trap. Right. Yep. <laughs> yep, so stop right there. Okay. Something moves all the way up in the distance. <laughs> Looking way forward, you're seeing a staircase that leads up to the second balcony, and there's a giant circle stone that arches its way out of the walls and makes a pillar-like circle. Uh, standing up from it is what looks like a geosphinx, like from what you saw on the inside. This is a completely different one. This one is covered in moss and coral and looks like it has tested way more time than the other one inside the, pa inside the castle. It stands up and look. It gets up off its laying position, lurches its head up, and looks out towards you. Its eyes flicker, but then stay stagnant blue with a glow. Is, is your name Will, and is this your pillar? I, I, think, we found the, I think we found the Sphinx, another one. I, don't, I think this is the one we were told about. Without taking too many steps forward, Ezra kind of like looks at the this <clears> new <throat> Geo Sphinx and just sort of like waves his arms as if to like try and get its attention. You hear like, you hear like broken like you know how when a sound speaker is old and ancient and it has like that high pitched whine as it continues to talk but you can barely get the word out. Mm -hmm. Right. That's what you're getting out of this. You're like, yeah, greet arms. Like, it's, it's trying really hard to form the sentence, but, like, something, some inner cog of motion is in play here that's just broken. Uh, hi, my name's Wake, Scalebound. Um, do you need help? You look injured. My needs are not what is at stake here. Are you here for the will of trials? Uh, yeah. Yes. You you uh, you caught that and you're like, don't you mean trial of wills? It's getting it backwards. Like that's yeah. how fucked up this thing is. Uh, I, I, if if you meant trial of wills, uh, yeah, I, I believe so. For what? Er, pus earth, perp, purpose do you wish to take? Um. Well, there's a tribe of people. Well, unicorns living here that we wish to assist and. We've been told that this trial of wills might be the best means of assisting them. You wish to use the gateway behind me. No mortal can pass through, not unless they have achieved victory in the tri- um, how, how do we uh, begin this? Uh, how, how do we do this trial? Mr. 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 Sphinx? All of will. Yes. Uh, how, how, how does one uh, 
How does one proceed with the uh, trial of Will? I will open the vortex. There you will be tested in combat against none other than yourselves. Oh. If you defeat yourselves in combat, you will be proven victorious in the trial. Hmm. Well, if that's the case, then we can't lose. If it's us fighting us, inevitably one of us has to win. But what if the other us wins? I mean, will we know the difference? Oh, man, that's a thinker. <clears throat> the ASMR behind you. It, like, slowly perks up and points. I point at Caster. Th this guy? Yes. <laughs> he just... <laughs> <laughs> the very same. The very same. And uh, somewhat uh. same rolled into one. <laughs> he, uh... He look, Cash just looks up, oh, what, me, oh. <laughs> what about him? He already is ASMR. Those of holy descent need not take the trial. Oh, of course. <laughs> look at the contract thing I have on my hand. Is this any sort of like blood pact or anything? Can I use that to get through this? Probably not. Nope. <laughs> uh, pretty much how he's breaking this down is that only ASMR can actually go through the portal. Well, without taking the trial. Yeah. All right, well. Look over at Caster and kind of give like a little fake casual salute. Well, I guess you're free to go then. He just like meanders himself up onto the stands. Oh, this is going to be good. <laughs> Wake just starts kind of stretching out. All, All right, right. So if I'm going to fight one of the, me. Yep, take out one of those boys. I'm going to give me one hell of a fight. <laughs> stand, in the, uh, stand on the edge of the circle. Inside. Uh, you might want to push them on the edge. Like he doesn't, yeah, like right there. So like here? Yes. Uh, move Eloy back. Right. Thank you. All right, um, like this? Yes. Do you wish to prepare before the trial begins? Should you fail it, it will be your only chance to ever take the trials once again. Uh, what, what do you mean by that? Like, what, how, what preparation? This will be a battle to defeat yourself. In this, in this matter, you will, not, you, will not be, you will not kill yourself, lest that is how dangerous you wish to be in combat. However, any damage you do unto yourself, you do unto the enemy. I see. Qu question? Yes. What does other me get if he wins? <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. They return back into the portal. This is merely just to prove that mortals have the same, like, willpower and spirit of that of the ASMR. Don't worry, Eloy. I'm sure it's all a metaphor. We're going to get in there. It's going to be like a test or something we no. got to take. This no is worries. great. I'm going to ask other me to take a dive. If he's got nothing on the line, then why wouldn't he? I would. Meanwhile, I'm going to kick my ass. Yeah, hopefully I can talk me out of this. All right, you guys are ready then? <laughs> yeah. All right. As ready as I'll be. You watch uh, as the Geo I'm, Sphinx. I'm, I'm, actually, oh. before we go, I'm gonna cast. Uh, I'm gonna cast resistance on myself. It's a cantrip. Gives me uh, a plus to my next saving throw. All right. No reason not to. All right. Radical. All right. You watch as the Geo Sphinx turns around, looks to the portal. You walk, uh, you can't really see from here, but you can like see like the bottom hinge of his jaw kind of like open up. And he lets out this kind of strange angelical choir like chord out of his throat. It's almost, it almost feels like a didgeridoo with a little bit of a choir in the background of it. The portal slow, there you go. <laughs> Theater of the mind. Theater of the mind. <laughs> the portal slowly creates a body of sphere of uh, ethereal water kind of like from the middle and then slowly spreads out however the more you do that the more water is actually coming down so the more energy that's putting into this the more water it's letting in so now from what once was a drip is now like a small stream going into the middle i see no problem with this how about you get oh i think we're using <laughs> a little bit of the uh the portal's energy to take this little test so i'm gonna you know what? It's fine. We don't need to worry about that. Just know that, like, the middle, those four squares in the middle there, stepping in there is difficult terrain because the water's coming down on you. Okay. Okay. Yeah, so those four squares. Yep. All right. 
Uh, with that, cool, awesome, thank you. <laughs> Out from the portal comes almost split duplicates of yourselves. God, I'm handsome. Let me go ahead and grab these. One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, cool. So I do have enough. Awesome. I was hoping you just got our exact little figures. <laughs> but painted them black. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. With that... I need all of, uh, the portal still remains open. The energy is still flowing. The Geosphinx turns around and sits down. You are now being judged. Proceed. Roll for initiative. Uh, 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 that is... Telling you the difference between a 13 and 18 on this thing is hard with the light. Hmm. Uh, 18 total. 17. Seven. Hey. This only works on. Let me roll for uh, the other three. Riss. Oh, geez, Riss, please. What Stop happened? dying, Riss. What happened, buddy? <laughs> I, ima I imagine that hit, like the black side of him is on the other half <laughs> this, for his mirror version. <laughs> yeah, it's just the yin yang is swapped. <laughs> when uh, the Geo Sphinx said that combat has started, you watch as they now become. Like ethereal, like versions of themselves of yourselves. So now you're fighting like ghost wraith versions of yourselves. Aw, oh, man, that's much harder to hit. They still take damage. They're still the same. Like you can see, oh, so like, they're solid. There's there's a solid layer, and then there's a layer of incorporeal stuff around them. So it's like a small ember of flame that makes an after image of them. Okay. So, uh, Risk got a fifteen. Red. Ooh. Okay. Got an 11, Barabbas. Hot damn, Barabbas is going first. Good for him. <coughs> Bad boy. And then there's you. You're at the bottom of the list. <laughs> yep. And <laughs> bringing up the rear, the ass himself. <laughs> <laughs> Seven. All right. So, Barabbas. Like looks at looks forward at himself, the other version of himself. Mm -hmm. Right. He like gives like an honorary salute, like kind of just like holds his shoulder, like let this be a good fight, as does the copy of Barabbas himself. You watch as he walks forward, so does the copy of Barabbas. Which number is what? Uh, uh, Barabbas is probably number four. Yeah, I'm Barabbas guessing. is four. So move him up three squares, and then move Barabbas the copy up three squares. And that's about as much as Barabbas will do. He's actually going to hold his shield at the ready, as will the other one. Kind of like testing the waters of yeah. the situation. All right, your turn. All right. Wake is uh, kind of mesmerized by this. I'm guessing it's going to mirror my move if yep. I move up. Try to get it as close to you as possible, like right in front of you. There you go. Yeah, so you, are now, just, you are now face to face with the ghost version of yourself. Yeah, Wake's hey. just kind of like looking back and forth across himself. It's giving you the same expression. So I, I look at him like, so exactly what are you? So exactly what are you? Oh, this is going to be fun. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Now, is there actually a, a lag before he reacts? No, it's, or, it's, okay, it's, it is it's simultaneous. Simultaneous. Okay. Yeah, I, I'm more confused than anything else. So before I go punching myself, I'm gonna hold off. You're gonna wait too. Yeah, I'm gonna hold my action to see if it acts on its own. The other creature does the exact same stance yeah. as you. Strike a pose. <laughs> yep. All right. Next on the list. Yeah. Basically, we're just circling each other, like walking back and forth. Yeah. yeah. For Ezra. flavor purposes, I'm not going to do that on the board. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Ezra, you're up. Oh, man. I've run out of my fine wine, and I left the alchemy jug back on the, <laughs> back on the diving bell. I'm just going to have a drink with myself for a second. <laughs> uh... 
I, I begin approaching, I guess. Yep, so number <laughs> five will be you on the list. Uh... All right, you now, you step in the water as all the clownfish and other fish kind of like just scatter away as you step in. You are now like knee high in the water, as will your copy of yourself do the same. Just looking at each other. Pull out my mirror and hold it up. <laughs> it pulls out a mirror and holds it up. Now there's four of us. <laughs> Try juggling with yourself. <sighs> no, I don't really have anything I can use on me quite. The only, the only thing that, the only rule that was given here is that your copies must fall. Yeah. That is the only way to defeat the trial. When all the copies are gone and have fallen in combat, that is your victory. How much of a dick do I want to be? <clears throat> oh. You know what? Even if I do it, I believe in my roles. Uh, I take a hundred ball bearings and throw them at the feet of my <laughs> doppelganger. <laughs> You watch as a copy of yourself takes out the copy of ball bearings and throws them at your feet. It's still bloop, 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 bloop. Yep. You just hear a bunch of splashing. And you watch as the ethereal balls enter the surface of the water and have the same solid effect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Wake and Clone Wake look back at you and clone you. I know all his moves, therefore I have the upper hand. All, all I right. have to do is introduce as much variance as I can between the two of us. All right, next up the list is red. Red looks at her copy, gauging to see if a fireball can make a distance from that location, as does the other red. Well, if the rule was that the one has to fall, she's going to at least try to take the shot. Well, somebody has to. Yep. <laughs> Nat 20. Well, well that'll right. make the shot. <laughs> However, her clone gets the same. Probably. They seem to be pretty... You watch as Red orbits a small ball of fire around her wrist. As it reaches the center, it creates a small purple flame. She pushes it forward, and the bolt hits its mark true for full damage. Let me roll ahead. Let me go ahead and roll it. Is this a fireball or a fire bolt? It's a bolt. Okay. It's a short, it's a small right, one. It's I, a cantrip. Yeah, because I was gonna say like fireball is a like. A no, no, no. Leader, right. Fire, yeah. Fireball was the one she used to break his ring. Okay. God damn. For twenty points of damage. But that also too means that the other purple flame coming straight at her hits her for twenty points of damage as they both hit the floor right. on their ass, searing, <laughs> holding their faces. Okay, I'm glad I didn't just start with explosive bolts. Wake thinks <laughs> to himself, I thought she was the smart one. <laughs> Experiments need to happen, I suppose. I just want Risp and Ghost Risp to turn and heal them. <laughs> it's the only thing I imagine happening. Risp now knows that Oh, well, I have to attack? Oh, okay then. Here I go. Pulls out a sling. Oh, risk. You poor child. I'm going to roll to see if he actually caught on to what just happened there. No, he does not. <laughs> Throw to hit. That is a long sling. The rock falls just ten feet short from him. Yeah, trying to go through that waterfall was too hard. Yeah. The rocks disappear into the waterfall, and nothing comes of it. Pewsh. I just imagine hearing in stereo, aww. <laughs> he does turn to Red, though, and he stands by her side, not able to do it for this round, but he is going to prep to heal. He just want now seeing Red take a full brunt of a fireball that looked exactly like hers, like, oh, no. She, he, like, goes to, like, by her side. And now it is your turn. All right. Five, just seven, in stereo. Seven, hey, you dummy! <laughs> yep. All right. I'm going to pull out my mithril scimitar, kneel in front of my clone, 
offer it to him hilt first and say, I yield. <laughs> Your copy. I yield. You heard me, Mr. Sphinx. He yielded. He yielded. He's defeated. <laughs> the copy saying the exact same yep. thing. <laughs> the copy just turns. You heard him. He yielded. He yielded. Oh. <laughs> What a predicament we found ourselves in. Free action. I'll let it be a free action. <laughs> I have another plan. Wake, I'm sorry in advance. <laughs> Please have it be that you're accidentally shooting. <laughs> I want you to attempt to shoot my clone and then shoot me on accident. I swear to God, this better be how it turns out. <laughs> it will. Um, <laughs> all right. That didn't work. Apparently, I was fuzzy on the rules. Well, theoretically, I have resistance on me and he the doesn't. The only rule was shadows have to fall in combat. All right, I'm going to I'm going to cast <laughs> And will that work? <laughs> God damn it. Suggest yourself. Yep, I'm going to cast suggestion on him. Roll against yourself. All right, so I get a wisdom saving throw against myself. <laughs> but this myself has resistance, so theoretically I have a slightly better chance of making the, uh, the saving throw than he does. All right. Um, let's see. It is wisdom, right? Uh, I believe so. Yeah, okay. Uh, so plus two versus DC... Okay. So does so I roll a an eighteen, which would save. How's he doing? What was your suggestion? What was your suggestion? Hey, buddy, take a dive and make it look good. You got nothing to win here, but I do. Hey, buddy, take a dive. You got nothing to win here, but I do. No, I I do though. I do I, though. <laughs> I, Eloy just trying to reason with himself. <laughs> no. You don't. You don't. <laughs> okay. Well, I I don't have to roll that resistance die. I don't have to. I can hold that. So I can just keep suggesting him <laughs> until I get so close. <laughs> that, You're going to keep at that? <laughs> just, it's the best idea I've got. <laughs> Is that it for you then on your turn? Or do you want to do something else? Wait. Fellas, I got an idea. Fellas, I got an idea. Yeah, what's that? What yeah, is what's it? that? What is it? <laughs> <laughs> they got to fall, right? I mean, I don't know. I thought they were supposed to be like our weaker, like, evil selves or something. I don't really get this. I think this is just us. <laughs> the rule is it's over when they fall. But if everything's mirrored, then if, if we fall, they fall, and vice versa. Right? So if we just lay down, or, if, like... If we take a dive, we Sphinx, win. I think there's some miscommunication going on in here. <laughs> what if... It's the problem. This is real bad if I'm wrong. What if we just beat up on ourselves until we fall, and then Risk heals us back up? And then Risk does the same, and when he falls, I heal him back up. Wrist kind of like points over. But I'm in this as well. But I'm in this as well. <laughs> yeah, I know. You'll beat yourself up until you fall down. and Oh, wait. But then the ghost of Eloy will go and heal the other. Hmm. Yeah, but they'll already have fallen, though. Oh. Didn't say nothing about getting back up. <laughs> I pointed the ball bearing. I don't know. Well, that's why I put these on the ground. I figured one of us would trip. <laughs> I don't know. How fallen is fallen? He said it didn't have to be to the death, but I tried yielding. Apparently, yielding doesn't count. The uh, no, the it does not. The cre uh, roll a persuasion to see if you can at least get a hint from the Geo Sphinx. <laughs> it, only him. Oh, I'm uh, modified twenty. Modified twenty. 
Yeah, buddy, can we get a little clarification here? I, I'm sorry, I should have asked more questions from the beginning. I feel like there was like some lo like some lost in translation stuff going on. Well, he is kind of broken. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an out of character complaint. Just what Eloy said. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, that's fair. <laughs> While yourself must fall in combat, one does not always have to face themselves. I mean, I mean, we could switch up, but that just puts. Yeah, I don't think this guy's gonna let me like walk by him. No one's attempted yet. No one's attempted to attack oh, another yeah. clone. Nobody's attempted to attack their own. Well, except for Red. <laughs> Red <laughs> just herself. blew herself up. All right. Well, it's worth a shot, I guess. I'll give you a bonus action. That's about it. Oh, wow. You get a long turn. Um, I don't know that I have much to do with the bonus action. If you don't, then I guess we'll just keep going then. Yeah. All right. So we're back up the list. Excuse me. What? Oh, we got, hey. got incoming. God, it's someone else. Uh, mind if I join the party, guys? What? Excuse me? Who, what? Who? Hey, you know, you know who it is. Yeah. Here comes a new challenger. Well, ladies what and gentlemen, the? it's Masako X. Hey. For reasons unknown to me. The internet's Masako X. Yes, the internet's Masako X. That's me. I be me. I know myself and I. <laughs> We're all getting to know ourselves here today. <laughs> Yes, I kind of have some sense of identity, and I also have a character sheet. Let's do this. Awesome. Okay, he came prepared. Yeah. Or, well, in that case, where should we put him? Like, is he in this now? Yes, when we get back up the list, let me go ahead and grab something real quick. Hello, I'm the Scale Tipper. <laughs> it is I. Hello, I'm here to kill all your ghosts. <laughs> you guys watch as... The uh, portal itself, or whoever's facing at least where the portal's look, uh, uh, located, you're now watching as another ripple is starting to bend in the water. Though it doesn't look like another... Uh, you're expecting... The, the quickest thing in your mind you think of is, oh shit, are we getting like a Spectre version of, of Caster? No, all of a sudden, this really stout... Uh, looking uh, female kind of just like bursts out from the portal. When she comes out, you watch as like that blue ethereal flame that's over your characters shows like an angelic form, almost like wings spreading out and the crown of thorns that makes like a set of fire, almost like how Caster did when he casted his magic. It looks like that, like we look like that, our characters look, or it, our it, it ghost has, versions that, that, look that, like that. that, that like, form of like fire that's like making yeah, an after image of yourselves that appeared on the person coming out of the portal but then it dissipates and describe yourself well my character is known as Isoria she is a storm sorceress and uh, she's ready to uh, kick some ass okay. so you watch as this what seems to be halfling kind of just meander herself through the portal the uh, the geosphinx doesn't seem to be bothered by this whatsoever you're watching as this somewhat like stout halfling kind of like walks in just like what the fuck what's happening yeah it's just like what well, huh well this is you know i definitely took a wrong turn at at whatever i was trying to be at it's just where am i again this just doesn't seem right and then i'm just you, looking you I, hear a voice from the other side huh? this is coming from you, for you you hear what? do not return from your mission until you have more information M more information I don't even have the information from which to start. I mean... That's why you're in there. Get to work. The voice fades. Well, uh... I point at my doppelganger. Is she with you? Is she with you? <laughs> Who's with what? I don't even know what's going on right now. The Geo Sphinx turns. You watch as a giant, like, cat, like, statue turns and looks to you. Oh. Hi. ASMR, the trial of will has begun. Okay. Roll a knowledge check. Um, there you go. Oh, you have your dice in that little hole there. Oh. Ah, there he is. Sorry, I was covering up your dice hole. Yeah, don't worry, it happens all the time. <laughs> He's just a gentleman on a first date. <laughs> oh, yeah. And a thumbtack. <laughs> oh, no, I got a thumbtack in your dice hole. Okay, that's an 11. <laughs> <laughs> okay, that's an 11. Uh, your knowledge check was an 11. Uh, 
Based on some uh, text you've read when you uh, took on this job working with the New Order, you have figured out that the old way to prove that mortals can actually be kind, gentle, like more understanding and more powerful beings like yourself is, is by kicking the shit out of each other's ghosts. Yes! yes. Is by <laughs> taking trials of wills. And you remember that in the old text that Ludarius ways of doing so was to defeat themselves in combat, to defeat their inner, inner demons that make a double of themselves. Oh. Since you're not that, you're now looking out into the field and seeing the doppelgangers and the other people as well. So they're in the middle of the trial, and the Geosphinx doesn't seem to be bothered if you want to get in on this. Oh, God. This is so ancient history. Really? They're still doing this? Ugh. Well, I don't mind. Just, uh, I guess I better help them then. They seem to be struggling. If you, do if you wish to aid them in combat, I will not stop you. Well, clearly they need the help, especially that's that horse-looking guy. I mean, I don't know what they're doing, but... Oh, well. No time like the present. All right. So, I'm going to put you on the list at the top. Hey. Ooh, you're real fast. Yep. So, yes, I'm always good up top. Since you walked in on this, this is considered a surprise round. For you, anyway. So, what do you want to do? Okay, so I'm gonna... Before you... The closest target you have before you is a kobold in a turban and some rags and what looks like a witch hunter female human. Okay, I'm probably gonna leap myself towards the kobold. All right, so that is, she's gonna, we're gonna move you to number three. Okay. Weehoo. And then I'm gonna cast, um, I'm gonna cast Ray of Frost. Oh no. <laughs> Roll it. Okay, so that's a, okay, that is an 11. An 11? An Versus risk. Uh, so what's what's the, the roll I have to go attack, against? Right, it's AC. It's AC. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if it's uh, if that's a spell attack, then you get uh, to add your your spells your spell attack bonus. Yeah. So you'd get uh, that plus four charisma. All right, I... charisma. All right. So that's a fifteen actually instead. Oh, okay. Yeah. No, you just like meander yourself up to the small looking ethereal lizard and just go, "Hey, buddy." <laughs> <laughs> Hi. Hi. Bye. Cast Ray of Frost. You guys watch as a burst of what frost just erupt out of this girl's hand and cover the ethereal wrist. Wrist on your side looked pretty okay. All right, and that's a roll for 2d8 damage. Go for it. All right. First one's a four, and another one for one, so that's total five. Five, all right. And I believe... In, in future, you do also get your proficiency bonus yeah. on spell Ooh. attacks, too. I thought oh, yeah. you did, but I made sure. Yeah, this is a little bit rusty. It's been a long time. <laughs> no worries. Nah, so technically, fine. that would have been an 18, so... Yeah, but you still got him. Hey. So I, I probably just do... So I do that, and I'm just like, ice to see you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Off of the distance, you see another ASMR with a long nose and just, like, all, like, decked out. In, oh, he's not decked out. He ripped his jacket off to appease Pat's Robbie. It's just some shirtless dude who kind of, like, reminds you of Nigel Thornberry. Oh. Now, I'm curious. Uh, with flaming nipples. Re yes. Make sure to describe yes, the flaming, flaming nipples. Yes, nipples. Okay. Yes. Thank I'm you. I'm curious, Zito. I'm staring at their wrist getting blasted by this ice blast. Is the other Ezra looking at ours and seeing nothing, or is he also looking at No, he's back also at turning. This? Okay, so there oh, is. Oh, he's turning and looking? Yeah. Wow, okay. <laughs> so I go over to that, uh, I look over to that somewhere and bow. <laughs> I thank you. Ooh. He mm. stands up and bows as well, cordial like. Yeah. <laughs> Ooh. I, yeah, the wake, wake and wake just kind of sneer a little and roll their eyes. <laughs> <laughs> Angels. <laughs> I know. Right. <laughs> <laughs> hey, wait, we didn't marry. So, uh, I think, let me just double check something. I think Ray of Frost also has an extra effect, does it not? Let me just double check that. Because I was just like, wait a minute, I thought it's, uh, if they roll some, if it's that or a different one oh, that... Make a ranged spell attack. On a hit, the target takes 1d8 cold damage, and its speed is reduced by 10 feet until the start of your next turn. Ooh, all right. So basically, the, that, uh, that corporeal being is hindered by 10 feet. Radical. So it only moves 20 rather than Rift's 30. Mm. Tipping the scales here. All right. Uh, question, does Rift's kobold, like the ghost kobold, react at all? It doesn't, but you actually see, like, the the cult, the uh, the effect actually applied to the character. So, like, there's now, like, a blanket of frost covering its back. 
And you let you do like actually look at Risk, and Risk kind of just goes, yeah. but he's not like damaged by it. He just gets the sensation. He gets the sensation of it, but the damage was not done. You watch as like the creature that is supposed to be Risk. You watch as like the after image kind of like blow up a little bit and then try to reform underneath the ice. Huh. Hey, lady, when you're done over there, can you come beat this one to death with like a club or something? <laughs> I just look. I look at my quarter staff and I just go. Eh. I mean, I like. I don't. You're, we're not going anywhere, right? Like, I'm just talking at me, right? <laughs> like, I, I don't. I don't we're see. We're not going. I don't see. <laughs> okay. this, uh, I, I, I have, see an easy I, way out. I, 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 now way have out. A, I now have an idea. Okay. All right, it is Barabbas's turn. Seeing all this, I'm gonna roll an insight check to see if he actually gets a cool little idea. A natural one. He does not get a cool little idea. <laughs> no ideas here. He's gonna just go ahead and let them meet towards the center. Ben, I can't move. Oh, yeah. Uh, oh, yeah. That's yep, done. right there. They both stand in the water. Are they both in the water? Yeah. Yep. Unfortunately, because of that roll, he's just gonna go straight for the attack. Up goes the hammer onto the shield. Doink. Nat one. Wow, he's We're losing not, some hammers. Not having a good Yeah, that, to... that hammer just flipped out and. <laughs> Okay, so oh. who's standing right next to him? It's either going to be Eloy or Ezra. I mean, Eloy's way closer. I know Eloy's yeah. way closer, but I need to roll a 1d6. Gentlemen, call out odds or even. Odds? Evens, I guess. Yeah, it's going for Eloy. Whew. Eloy, what's your AC? Uh, 15. Hammer of chance. Okay. At least if anything happens to you, it's probably happening to other Eloy. Yeah. Yeah, you watch as, like, a hammer's coming your way from the other side. Whoa! Right past your head, so does the other Eloy. And now Barabbas and Shadow Barabbas are without a hammer, as the hammer is now right sitting right next what to you. you. At least it landed on the land and not in the water. That's his turn. Your turn. All right, I just kind of, like, sit, like I, I just kind of, like, look at my clones, like, so, I mean, we don't even technically really have to fight here. We just got to wait for you to get beaten to death, right? Or me. I mean, it's kind of sad. I'll, uh, I just, I just kind of like sit cross-legged. It's like, what do you do? Oh, you do me. Right. I'm me. You're me. All right. Guess we'll just wait this out. Holding turn. <laughs> Holding turn? Yep. All right. Going to mark that down real quick. Yeah, just continuously talking Ezra. to himself, like, continuously talking to himself. Like, I thought you were supposed to be, like, my evil side and whatever, but you just kind of seem like me, unless I am my evil side. So I'm just, like, going through this, like, <laughs> this, this conversation. This existential crisis. Yeah, this existential before, conversation Actually, before we get to you, I am going to roll something, since you did hold it, you hold position. Okay. Since you're pretty much, like, talking with yourself. Oh, my God, natural 20. Cool. Maybe. Probably Sh bad. Shadow you gets bigger. <laughs> like, an, a size up. So that that's different. <laughs> Just keep talking. <laughs> that's different. All right. The Geo Sphinx kind of like like twerks its head a little bit, turning to look towards you. The more you deny yourself combat, your will only grows stronger and stagnant. I mean, I don't deny. Com I mean, we don't deny combat. Like, I just we don't deny combat. I just <laughs> like I don't see the point in beating myself up over everything. I mean, life has already done that to me already, right? Right. <laughs> Fist bump. <laughs> uh oh. Roll athletics check. You're athletics much, check against the giant me. You're much bigger than you. <laughs> I am much bigger than me. Uh, my athletics is a thirteen. Thirteen. Wait, hold on. Ye yes, 13. All right, 13. But since he's enlarged by you, getting a little bit of a buff bonus, he got a plus four to that, so he beat you out. Yeah, I figured. Oh, yeah. I'm roll roll a unarmed attack on yourself. That's nowhere <laughs> near the kind of strength I was using, but okay. That's how big he is. This is so you don't halt your <laughs> self-combat. I came prepared. That's fine. Uh, that, uh, 
three plus. Now this is athletic, so it's technically strength and not dex, since I'm yes. not actually fighting. Okay, so that's six damage. Yeah, so you're you're acting it as its strength. Oh, I'm a big boy. You hear like you you fit you both fist bump and you feel your middle finger crack. Oh, 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 oh that hurt. So, how much damage was that? Six. Six. All right. We are now up to you. Okay, Zito. I've got uh, got some questions just to see how <laughs> mechanically how this would work. So, depending on depending on these questions, I can or cannot answer them. Okay. Ezra has, like, I mean, we've we've been interacting. I have seen that I am mirroring everything that I do. Yes. So, can I be prepared for something that I want to do? Essentially to myself and be ready for it. To yourself, yes. Okay. So I have cunning action, which lets me spend a bonus action to dot, dash, disengage, hide, slide a hand, thieves' tools, etc. If I ready my crossbow and shoot at my feet, since I know I, since I know the other guy is going to be doing that too, <laughs> can I instinctively jump backwards? I mean, your shadow yes. might do it as well. Your That's other self, the plan. Your other self will okay. do it. Because guess well. what's behind him and not behind me? Ah, fair enough. <laughs> but I'm not stopping combat. <laughs> okay, then I ready my crossbow, and I take aim at my doppelganger's feet and fire. Roll it. Uh, ba -ba -bum. Oh, where is, uh, 16. And your AC? Uh, my AC is 15. All right, so it does beat out, but using your cunning action, you yeah. do make your character uh, fall backwards. Okay. So I leap back. Uh, so like a backwards leap, is that... Well, actually, if I'm disengaging, can I just dash backwards to try yes. and basically run and avoid it? Technically, you're not really engaged since you're not in melee. No. I still get the free action to dash. So. Yeah. So it's, I, not, yeah, it's not technically a disengage, but it can be considered a dash. Yeah. yeah. So then I move back and am now just right in front, like right, like right in front and a little bit to the side of Risp. All right, then move number five at the same. Right there. Hey lady, free attack! <laughs> I say without turning away from myself. <laughs> red, uh, yeah, now we're at, uh, red, we're at Risp's turn. Risp? Turn doesn't know the effect of the cold blast. Mm -hmm. So he doesn't know that like his other half is half speed right now. Uh, however, I'm going to roll to see if he does get a small tactical idea. No, no, he's not getting that tactical <laughs> idea. The idea was is that he could engage in attack of opportunity on himself mm -hmm. with, with uh, your character standing right in front of him. But unfortunately, he didn't get that. Uh, Sorry. Didn't think about it. Didn't think about <laughs> it that hard. He turns and looks to red, and he heals her. Nat 20. Jeez. She's back up to full, but you notice that other risk does not do that. There's been a difference in the timeline. By all accounts, other risk should have turned and looked towards other red and had healed her. It looked like it was about to do that, but then halts and returns back to its pose when Risp was not engaged with himself. And that's his turn. And now I'm gonna roll to see if Red notices that. She super does. She looks over to you, and then your copy, yes. <laughs> Holds up a fireball. Um, hi. What's, what's up? This is going to be cathartic if I miss and or hit. <laughs> Picks up her fireball and tosses it at Shadow Wake. You watch as- Look out me! <laughs> <laughs> you watch as the other Wake does the same thing, like, look out me! <laughs> However, the other red picks up a fireball and tosses it, but as the fireball goes away from, like, in front of her, it fizzles out. <laughs> Rolling to hit. 
Does a 19 hit? The larger me? Does, it, does a 19 hit you? A 19 would hit me, yes. So I am taking damage on this character. Okay. But now I need to roll to see his buff boy action. No, he doesn't make it. I'm so big and strong. Ah! <laughs> All right, time to roll that damage. Shadow you takes... Eight points of fire damage. Are you okay? I look <laughs> up at him. Are you okay? As he looks to you, like now just encroached in flame. I'm fine, thanks, but you were the one that got hit. I'm fine, thanks, but you're the one who got hit. We're gonna need to work on our communication skills. <laughs> need to work on our communication skills. Next is... Uh, bu -bu -bu -bu. We're up to you. Okay, I'm, I'm gonna take a look around this arena. Can I tell, is it perfectly symmetrical? Or... Other than, uh, uh, th through, other the than this. through the test of time, it's kind of symmetrical, but because of the fact that like this place is old, ancient, and decrepit after thousands of years, the paint might have like shifted a little bit. The the fact that the earth may have crumbled since the earthquake hit this place, mm -hmm. a mountain hit this place, it might have shifted the earth. So it looks mm -hmm. like it might have been symmetrical, but it, but that would be a insight check for me. Investigation, actually. I apologize. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm looking for anything like sharp objects that are on that side that are not mirrored on my well, side. Well, looking right next to you, I'm just going to say this. That okay. pillar is broken, and that pillar has completely fallen off on its side that's right next to Wake. Okay. So there are broken pillars next to you. Sorry, I'm having plans now. Okay. <laughs> I have a, I have a giant. I have a giant that I can control. <laughs> so if that's the now case, the mirror match is coming. So like this pillar right here is broken. Yeah, that's... that that part that's the, in the north of it, you could step on that with no problem. The other one you'd have to, other part you'd have to climb. Okay. Whereas this one is whole. Whole and going up thirty feet. Okay. In that case, I am going to move myself over. Next to the broken part of the pillar, your character tries to move over to the broken to the f to the full pillar, and then that like I'm gonna find a place of the pillar where a chunk is missing. Yep, and bash my head into the non-existent part of the pillar. <laughs> so, so where there's nothing, he's gonna yep. slam his head as hard as he can. Yep, and I'm gonna see what the other one does. All right, roll to hit first. That's a good one. <laughs> it's a real Shikamaru move. <laughs> Uh, that would be if I'm, I don't know what, what modifier I would use for this attack roll. It's a 16 plus whatever. Does that beat your AC? So, yeah, that would beat my AC regardless. So, roll on arm damage. All right. Uh, that's usually With what, strength. a 1d4 plus strength? Yep. All right. Um, Actually, uh, only monks get the 1d4. It's usually just, uh, Oh, yeah, I think it's usually, usually just, just your strength. Just one plus strength, I think. Uh, yeah. Yeah, so it'd just be one. It would just be one. Yep. So, whereas you whiff, mm -hmm. you hear, doink! <laughs> Ow! <laughs> it juts its head back, but then, like, it kind of, like, stumbles back, but then, like, some force, like, that puppeteers it, like, just forcibly pushes it back into its place. Oh, we're gonna have fun. <laughs> <laughs> one point of damage on Shadow Eloy. <laughs> Oh, no. Your turn. <laughs> All right, no, no, I'm gonna... Wait till you get to my turn. <laughs> I just know I'm gonna... I kind of... I am watching this from, from a distance, and I'm just like... I'm kind of just thinking, hmm, interesting. So then I am going to cast Ice Knife on the Shadow Eloy. Uh, oh. Why knife. don't you describe what Ice Knife is for the folks at home? Okay, Ice Knife is you create a shard of ice and fling it at one creature within range. Oh. Make a ranged spell attack against the target. On a hit, the target takes 1d10 piercing damage. Hit or miss the shard, then explodes. The target and each creature within 5 feet of the point where the ice exploded must succeed on a dexterity saving throw or take 2d6 cold damage. And because we're second level or higher, the cold damage increases by 1d6. So that's basically 3d6 cold damage. <laughs> Jeez. Nice. Didn't Arahata use that once? She did. Okay. All right, so I get the charisma proficiency bonus on top of that. Yep. So, yeah. so 20. charisma plus proficiency. Oh, that's a six, and I needed that, so that was a 13. Does that beat out your AC? Uh, does that beat out your AC? Uh, it does not, sadly. Unfortunately, you throw the ice shard, and it misses. However, you but do get the explosion damage. I do. That's 3d6 of cold damage. So let's get the thing. So that's two. And Unless Eight. I can, as a reaction, try to ten. intentionally take the hit. <laughs> so, ten. I don't think you can see it coming. Nah. 
Plus, your, your turn is over, so we're not yeah. at that yeah. point yet. That's, that's the, fine. The attack Doesn't time is like instantaneous, so it's just like letting eyes in. So how much damage? Ten. All right, so that's a, that's at negative eleven. So Shadow Eloy has taken eleven damage. And uh, everyone who's not an NPC, obviously, and obviously not you, because you're not having a Shadow version of yourself, keep track of your max HPs. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. Oh, uh, at least get, yeah, can I get your max HPs? Uh... Is that with temporary health bonuses or without? Oh, uh, with. Okay, that would have been 51. 51. You are 42. 42. And yours? 45. 45. All righty. So now, uh, so is there anything else you want to do? Because that was just a uh, primary action. You still have a move and you have a free action. Um, or a bonus action. Or a bonus action if you so have something of that caliber. Uh, no, I don't. But I think what I'm gonna do is slightly move like myself in between tokens three and two. So I'm just like someone. Yeah, that's Come on, it. My back's right to you. I'm gonna tell you that's a good call for what I'm about to do. Unfortunately, oh, no. the shadow yous have a little bit of a self-defense mechanism. <laughs> the ethereal form of risp pushes itself up from the body and turns towards you and readies its club. For a, what is your AC? Fourteen. 14. Just barely missing. You watch the ethereal form kind of like rise up, turn, and try to slug you with uh, with a billy club, and it just misses you. Hit her. Okay. I thought this was going to be basically Interloper, just... the shadow says. Okay. The, sh the okay. shadows know that you're not part of this. Okay, well, th that guy did not say thing, and what? Well, I'm glad he didn't try to beat me to death with a club then. That would have been really rough. <laughs> okay. <laughs> you invoked an attack of opportunity. That was the problem. Ah, uh, right. So now you're stuck in between the both of them. Uh, all right, uh, Barabbas' turn. One more time for that. He does not get it. He he's just a big, dumb, brute bird. Yeah, he's a big, dumb, brute bird. Takes up his shield. Bug out the chair! <laughs> <laughs> Just gonna slap Nat shields. one! What the fuck, Barabbas? <laughs> <laughs> he, he holds up his shield and the waterfall hits the corner and it hits uh -huh. the floor. Taking him with it, knocking both him and the shadow prone. His shadow fell! His shadow fell! I saw it! His shadow fell! I saw it! He saw it too! He saw it too! <laughs> the other one just got like a little trickle of blood coming out of his forehead. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, that's Barabbas. Your turn. Hey, big me, want to have some fun? Hey, big me. <laughs> hey, wait, 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 wait a minute. <laughs> I mean, all right. Don't kill me yet. Don't move. And I slap Ezra on top of the head. Ah! <laughs> it's going to hurt him a lot more than it hurts you. Ooh, I see where this is going. I like it. I'm going to assume that a uh, 19 hits you. Yeah. Okay. You take seven damage. Woo. Meanwhile, Big Me. Wham! Big Me. Roll another six. Roll another six. An additional six. Yep. Uh, that's an additional five. So that's additional five on Shadow Ezra. Yeah, so he took 14. Ah. Don't worry, I can do this to everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Ezra, you're up. Kind of pop my neck. Well, now it's time to add insult to injury. <laughs> I take out my twenty or my my ten explosive bolts and place them at my feet. Uh, <laughs> can we talk about this a little bit? Don't worry, I'm gonna pick those up after the fight. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> then I'll have twenty explosive. <laughs> 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 and then I ready my crossbow with a regular bolt and take aim at Barabbas. Real Barabbas or Shadow Barabbas? Shadow Barabbas. Okay. <laughs> Does it matter? <laughs> <laughs> Can I tell a difference at this point? <laughs> They've been wrestling around. All right, roll to hit. Uh, -bum. Does a 15 hit? With a negative two, it absolutely does. Woo! Uh, then... You roll your damage. My damage, that's right. I he is not prone, so you got a negative two on him. 
I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, is one of them technically all the way underwater and him technically on the surface? They're kind of, he's at, they're both, they're both in the water, he's kind okay. of at the edge. Okay, so just, just so I'm remembering this right. They're not drowning, he can gotcha. get up. Gotcha, okay. With, with damage, it's the weapon damage plus my dex? Yes. Yeah. Okay, uh, then eight. I do eight points of damage. Eight points of damage, okay. On Shadow Barabbas. Barabbas is a hardy boy, that's the only problem we have here. Now what does Shadow Me do? Shadow you, takes the crossbow, aims, and fires. Good for him. It goes. It does not do anything. Okay. You Play. watch as the arrow goes, fades away. Thank you. <laughs> and thus is my turn. Red notices Shadow Barabbas. <laughs> Unfortunately. Barabbas is not in perfect range. If she throws this, it's gonna hit him too. She's yeah. gonna move up three squares. One, two, three, and we gotta move Shadow Red, and you get an attack of opportunity. Oh, Th that'd be uh, number three here. Number two. Number, number two. two. One, two, three. Now roll to attack and hit him. All right, so that's a 20 plus seven. <laughs> Five, 12. Yeah, no, unfortunately. Like, you, you just barely get the heel <laughs> of the foot. <laughs> nope. Never mind. It's like... <laughs> oh, oh. Curses. <laughs> no. The, unfortunately, red's a little too tall for you, so you just, like, swing and, like, spin in place. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> Not on my butt. <laughs> yep. All right. And red now looks to Shadow Barabbas and imbues her firebolt with a extra level. Hot damn, that will hit. That is 3d6 fire damage. Roll these. God damn. 11, 12, plus her wisdom. Uh, plus her charisma, actually. That is 17 points of fire damage on Barabbas. Whew. Ooh. That is one toasty bird. Unfortunately, it looks like it didn't do that much of a dent, even though like the water kind of like sizzled it out, but it did get the flesh. You watched as the ethereal version of Barabbas' arm kind of like rip open and try to form itself back in. All right, we are now up to uh, Riss. Just chilling. Yeah, Riss is just like, Oh no, what do I do? Uh, he looks over and sees you. Ah! <laughs> oh, like, he like pats you on the shoulder. <laughs> get back. Eight points of HP. Hey. All right, get ready for some more of that. <laughs> um, <laughs> There's Riff standing behind you. I'll help, I'll hurt. <laughs> I'll help, I'll hurt. <laughs> I'm guessing, just real quick, that I can't heal back temporary HP. No. Okay. Then I don't get anything. <laughs> He's doing his best, this poor boy. Nah, hey, I appreciate <laughs> it. Poor Riz. Ben, you're up. All right. I'm going to, I'm a very stubborn donkey man. I am going to uh, do the same thing I did last turn, rear back, headbutt, and whiff, and this time I'm going to attempt to act as though I've knocked myself unconscious. <laughs> Just like take a, a, big old a big old pratfall. Roll a performance with disadvantage. All right. Not terrible. More terrible. <laughs> 13. 13? But I'm real good at performance. Get the fuck out of here by one point. <laughs> okay, so let me roll severity. Okay, middle of the road. Not bad. So, you go ahead and knock yourself into the wall. For another one damage. And then you start to pretend like your body is going to lurch back and hit the floor. Mm -hmm. It was so convincing for the shadow version of yourself that it actually hits the floor prone. <laughs> for one point of damage, it knocks back what that fake puppeteering kind of ethereal being that was supposed to put it back into place 
your performance was so good <laughs> that it didn't actually act in and just allowed it to hit the floor. Even you believed you <laughs> fell over. <laughs> That's the secret of acting. In the moment, you have to believe it. <laughs> All right, that is 12 points of damage on the boy, and he is knocked prone. Shadow you is knocked prone and now completely desynced out of your out of combat. Ooh. Your turn. Who knows what happens when that happens? <laughs> <laughs> All right. So since Shadow Edward has pretty much got the eyes on me, I'm basically just kind of just going like. So I'm just kind of <laughs> I'm gunning for token five Shadow Ezra. So I'm gonna it's cast um, the other one. Cast another ice knife again. You mean uh? Oh. Oh yeah, it is five. Yeah, it is five. five. Yeah. So basically, I'm five, but he's right I'm gonna, next to three. Yeah. So I don't know if that's gonna. If you can shoot through, you can't shoot y y um, unless this is like a cone of some kind. You're you can't shoot through Risf. Yeah, uh, there is someone between our. I mean, Risf is sh well. Then again, he's short too. So. Yeah, it's a range. It's a range action. It's not like a line. Right, but the problem is, is that there's something you're, in you're between. Going to, you're going and to five. take disadvantage because you're standing right next to the person. You're doing a melee attack when it's supposed to be ranged. Okay, very well. Never mind. So you can move back. You just will have to take an attack of opportunity. It's not. It's not a case of moving back. Um, can you just put me directly in front of number three, please? So like diagonal up. Yeah, you can. That that's no, not okay. That not that way. The other way. This way. Yeah, just kind of like above it. Closer towards token A. Ah. And oh. One more to the left. It's just getting right up behind. There. Yeah. There you go. Other. There we go. For all accounts, the Geo Sphinx is not in combat, so you yeah, can take I it as a non-entity. I know, I was just thinking it's a point of reference. Mm, okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so... You're going to use it? Use Ice Knife on token 5. Okay, so roll d20. Uh, ooh, okay, 21. Is that a natural 20? No, 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 no that's not a natural 20. Okay, I was yeah. just like, holy shit! 40, 14 plus 7. They both fail. Ooh, so they're both getting hit. They're both getting. Like, they're the, it's 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 an attack roll, so it yeah. doesn't matter. It's AC. They yeah. They well, hit. yeah. Well, there's another saving throw for extra oh, damage there? beyond that. Oh. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Weird. Yeah. So basically, that uh, basically that's the ten piercing damage on on actual Shadow Ezra. Yeah. So that's the one d ten already. So roll the one d ten on him. All right. Which is a six plus your uh, charisma modifier for damage, I believe. Uh, uh, not on, not, not on for spell attacks, really. Yeah, not huh. not unless it specifically says uh, okay. so. Yeah. No, I didn't specifically say. So there's that. So that's the six on the shadow Ezra, but there's also the, the um, ice damage, the three d six. To not only because it's in within five feet, mm -hmm. so it's the wake and. Wake and risk. Yeah. Wake and risk. They also get um three d six piercing hit by damage as well. Explosion. Who? Masako's game. No, no. So that's within t it's within five feet. I'm it's within five feet. He did in ten. I'm, I'm in ten. Mm. I'm ten oh, feet away. Okay. Yeah. yeah, so basically <laughs> I do three like, uh, damage. Collateral damage. To wake and risk. So there's four uh, six and then one more. Eight. Eleven. So I do eleven uh eleven points of damage on those boys. Technically wouldn't that happen on the Ezra as well? Yeah. It would. Yeah, so eleven eleven damage on all three. Shadow all right. taking eleven and uh, and Risp is taking 11. All right. Shadow uh, Ezra's not looking too hot. You shouldn't be, right? You're kind of, like, watching as, like, half the form is kind of, like, dissipating while the other one's trying to stay incorporal on him. I look over at Wake. Don't kill me yet. Don't worry, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> I have one more thing I want to do. Oh, fine. <laughs> All right. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Do you have a free action or a... Uh, a bonus, if you have any. Uh, I don't think I have actually any bonus things, but I'm gonna probably point myself closer towards. Oh, you already moved, so you can't okay. do that. Okay. Well, uh, no, I'm done. I am my turn. Okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, Barabbas, this poor boy. He stands up. Let's roll inside to see if he fucking finally gets it through his dumb, thick bird head. Oh my god, Barabbas, <laughs> please! <laughs> his bones are hollow, including his skull. <laughs> he goes to headbutt himself. <laughs> How about the name? How about, oh, that hits! Of course that hits! Well, they're both aiming for each other's head. <laughs> Roll that. You fucking dolt. 11, 12 points of damage, so that's 12. 15 points of damage, and they both fall on the floor prone again. <laughs> 
Travis, you stupid fuck. They're both not doing too good. Wake, you're up. All right, since Ezra doesn't want me to kill him. <laughs> just there's one more thing. Maybe two. All right, big me, time to do something else. Roll attack. Uh, roll a, well, let me roll to hit you. As the shadow self now turns into Lopa. No, 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 not that one. Misses completely. Oh, okay. Wow, I missed? Damn. Roll the two versus oh, this AC. Even with a D6, that's not hitting. Yeah. All right. I'm going to give Risp a nice hug. <laughs> it's like, you've been doing a good job, buddy. I'm oh, scared. no. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. <laughs> I just lift him up and give him a nice hug. Okay. Wrist is just like Christian side pat. <laughs> <laughs> what happens on the other end when I just give him a nice hug where the giant me is bending over to pick up the other one? Okay. You hear audible bones crunch. <laughs> Shh, don't listen. Don't listen. It's okay. <laughs> you're good. You're a good boy, Riss. <laughs> Risp is looking away, so now I just see like a camera shot of Big U and the other one screaming in agony while Risp is just sitting there. Oh. Now attack action two for me. High five, Risp! <laughs> 19 plus whatever the fuck your strength is, plus uh, a d6. Plus strength is uh, plus three, plus a d6. You it's said? still hitting! Yeah. So, hold on. So go ahead and roll unarmed damage, and then I need to add a d6 to that. I can just roll two d6s for you. And yeah, then yeah. Add strength. Uh, that's a total of twelve. Twelve plus another six plus a five, so eleven. So Ooh. twelve plus eleven? No, it's uh. Oh, oh got it. Yeah, so 12 plus 11. So that's, oh my gentle Jesus. Poor tiny little ghost Risp. So that's 23. See, I've made this giant mega wake that's just gonna crush everything. <laughs> yeah. With peaceful uh, yeah, um, At first when you yeah, stopped so combat, I thought that, that was a that problem. That last but... high five, Big U kind of just like high fives his ghost Risp's head clean off its shoulder. <laughs> <laughs> Risp now has a weight off his shoulders as he's like, huh, that, okay, invigorating. That high five was invigorating. <laughs> you did good. I pat him the on the shoulder. The cobalt shade has been lifted, says the Aero, uh, the Geosphinx. Good work, Risp. You Real did quick. a great job. Now he's free to move into combat as he wants without his shadow attacking. I look at shadow, shadow Risp. What happens to the corpse? Is it just drop? Well, as, well it... as I'm guessing Large Wake is patting it on the shoulder, it's getting patted into the dirt. <laughs> I just want to make sure, like, you it, know, the physical it, things it leaves behind don't just disappear you watch, or something. You watch as Shadow Wrist kind of, like, turns into these weird particles and kind of just floats itself back into the portal. I don't feel so good. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, them Infinity Spores. <laughs> well, it wasn't until you said it. <laughs> All right. Okay. By this point, okay. All right I'm want, just looking up at that do... giant. I'm like... <laughs> okay, I'm uh, glad I'm, right. I'm, I'm, I'm glad I'm, I'm on your side? <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> <laughs> All right. that, repl that, re that resides on him to respond to that. I can't hear it. <laughs> there you go. That as in, like, this is like so now, kind of now you're just watching as this giant fish man is going <laughs> <laughs> in the air. <laughs> so would that be uh, token number three off the board? Yep, token number three is gone. All right. I'm just like a complete. My character's just completely overwhelmed. So I just go, "Hi!" It's like constantly <laughs> waving at you. <laughs> I'm just stuck in for a time being. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Good doggy. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ezra, your turn. Oh God, I hope this works. <laughs> I very gingerly take out my bag of glass beads and <laughs> set them on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> Very, very gingerly, as to not disturb them or make anything happen. And then now let's hope Giant Wake doesn't fuck that up. 
I pull out my top hat and place Scaffy on the ground. <laughs> <laughs> there's Scaffy. There's there's Shadow Scaffy. Oh no, Scaffy has to do a trial. <laughs> Shadow Scaffy has a mustache. <laughs> Oh, good. That way I'll be able to tell them apart if I get to keep them. Scaffy, <laughs> battle yourself. <laughs> I have For more! I have... <laughs> I have the Scaffy, the true self. Um, I take one step over to my right. Or like one, you know, take a couple steps over, I guess. Go ahead and move your uh, fellow boy as well. Attack of opportunity. All right. That's 17. Does that hit you? Yes, that does. Roll damage. So that's uh, light on the quarter your, staff. Your quarter staff, yeah. Okay. Six. Which luckily has six reach. points of damage. So you watch as like shadow. You just going. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. Please, oh please, oh please. <laughs> I'm down to five glass beans. If I can get that back up to ten, that'd be great. <laughs> Such a stupid way to finish you off. <laughs> Is that it? Yeah, that's so. You're that's just putting Scaffy down on the floor. I just set Scaffy down. I didn't give him an order or anything, so he shouldn't triple up. I just set yep, him no, down. No, he's just you. You're now watching as there's like a the the uh, version of him puts down a hat, and now there's like a disembodied hand standing up, <laughs> kind of just like crawling on the floor, like. What do I do? What do I do? So you're looking at an it kind of just like standing there. I had no orders. And a little bag of what and a, seems and a to little, be beans. And, what, and a little bag of what seems to be beads. Uh, beans. I'm just looking down incredulously. <laughs> what am I stumbling are, into? Who are these people? Don't touch those! <laughs> <laughs> okay! Strange, they're, strange, they're hand very volatile. man. Okay. Did, what'd you tell them? They're very volatile. I <laughs> a bag of beans and a giant and a fucking clawed hand. They are sitting on top of explosive bolts, also. So everything. I'm, I'm go just, I, I don't know. That, but I don't know that. I got like, real you, bad over in that corner. <laughs> I'd say, you call that volatile? Trust me. Okay. For I don't know whether I should. Reaction or not? Uh, let's yeah, see. Now we're up to uh, we're up to red. Red's gonna keep on trying to put the beat down on Barabbas there. Another fireball. To Shadow Barabbas. She's like, you need to st stop stumbling over yourself, you idiot. She hits. Figure this out. Okay, not great damage, though, unfortunately. Uh, I, I feel like Shadow Barabbas is taking a bit of a beating at this point. Yeah, but the problem with Shadow Barabbas is that... Barabbas has a big health He's pool, a tanky boy. Although... One more, one more good shot might just do it, because Shadow Barabbas, they they were both at the same HP until that happened. All right, uh, Riss. Oh, you put him down and he doesn't see that there's a version of himself anymore. <laughs> kind of like scuttles on up to uh, Barabbas to pat him on the shoulder. One, two, three, four. He makes it. There, there. Yeah. There you, it's, just, it's okay. You'll be all right. Four. Let me roll this heel. Wrist with the good heels. Hot damn. For 16 HP, Barabbas is back up. Hey, good for him. So we're looking okay on that. Next is... B, 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 B. Um... Next is Ben. All right. I'm going to, like, try and lull as I'm lying prone here. I'm going to try and, like, lull my head in the direction of my doppelganger and open one eye and see if I can see if he's doing the same thing or if he still thinks he's out. Roll a perception check. Um, 21. He's out cold. Well, no, he's not out cold, but he's just like, he's not he's not copying the same movement as you. But he's just on the floor. Okay, I'm I'm gonna test this hypothesis. Then I'm gonna get up and see what he does. No, he's not prone. He's on the floor. He's not getting up. There's awesome. A, there's a glitch. <laughs> there's a glitch in the matrix. <laughs> You've desynced your ice climbers. Now's the time. To, to, 
Uh, what's the word? <laughs> come on, come on, melee man. Losing right. my smash terms. <laughs> it's been banned for so long, I forgot. <laughs> I'm going to hit Shadow Barabbas with a dissonant whispers. Wow, spooky song. <laughs> 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 what do I need to do? Uh, let's see. Wisdom saving throw versus DC 15. I'm going to assume an 8 doesn't work. It does not, in fact. So now he's uh, he's going to take 3d6 psychic damage. Uh, 15 psychic wow, damage. Wow. You watch as Shadow Barabbas' head kind of caves in on itself and almost looks like someone Jeez. snapped his neck. <laughs> And, and the, you get a headache. And the bits of it kind of just float on up and then go back inside the portal. Did I just spook another ghost to death? You scared another ghost you to sc- death. You scared your ghost to death. <laughs> oh, no, no, he oh, did oh, that to oh, Barabbas. Oh, Barabbas, no, Barabbas yeah. That's, that's way more impressive than spooking my own ghost to death. <laughs> My own ghost That's is probably two, a coward. Just, that is two today. <laughs> you just killed. You just killed a here a hero of Lasaranus's shadow. <laughs> okay. Uh, do you want to do anything else? Um, I think that's all I got. Okay. So, as you guys watch as the second form disappears into the rift. All the other forms now grow one more size. Ah. Okay. Hey, yours yours grew an additional size. Oh, size, I grew I an assume. additional size. Every, oh, excellent! Every, <laughs> everyone's grew an additional size. Awesome! I thought they just all matched mine. Perfect. I'm still good. This wasn't going to be easy. <laughs> You well, guys, I feel like we found a way to break this game. <laughs> yeah, no, it was no, it was meant to be broken, and then I'm just like, okay, well now they're just gonna get a little bit more powerful to keep this at least somewhat interesting. <laughs> now you just watch as there's now an even bigger. So now what once was a very tall fish man is now a giant fish man. <laughs> nah, man, Wake and Mongo oh, man. got this. <laughs> and now there's a not not so much like average looking half elf with all that other stuff and the stuff on the floor that grows in size too now there's a now there's a giant there's a tall version of a half elf standing next to you does that mean there's like a giant human sized hand sitting yes here? awesome there is th- there is now a dog sized hand on the floor <laughs> mount scappy oh my god yeah, just gotta wait one more round and you can have a mount <laughs> i have a crazy feeling this is all going away but i want to believe <laughs> yeah it's your turn. I'm gonna get out of that. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's like I, I'm just. Look, I leave. I'm just. I'm just looking at the hand, and I'm just. Go, I'm just looking at. Ah. Uh, so I'm just. Uh, in a typical ASM, I go. Oh. Uh, oh. Uh, and that's like, it's disgusted. Oh. Uh, so what are you gonna do? Twenty feet to the right. So like Ooh, both, you're stepping away from me. You're stepping away from to- both of them because they're t- kind of big. More towards Eloy. Yeah, so you, if you use your action to dis- to disengage, that doesn't provoke enough. Yeah, an that pr- doesn't provoke right? one of them. Oh really? Oh. Because remember, there's huge boy Wake now. Even he, big you, you're kind of standing underneath strength, him. Just like you look up and there he is. <laughs> yeah, so I'm getting out of that one. All right, so who do you wish to disengage? Big boy wake disengage or disengage me. I do more slightly, damage. Slightly yeah. bigger as uh, slightly bigger Ezra. Yeah, let's just disengage wake. Okay, Good so idea. slightly bigger Ezra is now going to turn and look to you and scream interloper once again. Interloper. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Bye, Fifteen plus <laughs> six. That yeah. does hit. Oh, hit. you're taking that blood, that chunky nice damage. Roll to hit. Or roll damage. You mean roll damage. Yeah. Uh, wait. What, what is the weapon repertoire on you? Uh, I've got a plus one dagger. Yep, so. D4. Yes. Roll to hit that dagger. That's the there pyramid. Uh, that would be. F- five? Yes, with my dex plus the. Five. Plus one. So that's six points of damage as a blade cuts the side of your neck as you go by. Yeah, okay. Yeah. All right, so, so you're let's moving. Move you 20 feet. I got it. Okay. Here. That's a pen. You'll probably want to use that. Right there. Alright, okay. So, what I'm going to do is I'm looking towards Eloy because I'm starting to cotton on. I saw that uh, he got up. That guy didn't. No, he did not. So, Good. basically, I'm going to cast a ray of, uh, ray of Frost. 
Ooh, so I, I don't want to be that guy, but the disengage was the action. Yeah, yeah, it kind of oh. was. Yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, that's fine. That, that was pretty much you getting out of harm's way. It's fine. Yeah. Sorry nah, about that. No, nah, don't worry about it. That's fine. Yeah. We we want to be able to take our act, attacks of opportunities proper when it's our time. So yeah. <laughs> got to keep <laughs> it fair. <laughs> Paint <laughs> forward. Understandable. Okay. That 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 that's pretty much. Hey it. man, you you got out of bad. That. I know you're a guest here, but it's like. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, nah, I understand. That's cool. All right, we're now up to Barabbas. Barabbas stands up. <laughs> Confused as all hell. The fuck? You should, like, watch. He does, like, that bird thing where he shakes off the water. <laughs> uh, getting up was his action. He notices that there's now a bigger version of... Uh... Oh, wait, Risp? What? Yeah, Risp is gone. It's red... It's Eloy. Oh, it's red. It's Ezra. Yeah, yeah so and, he, yeah. he's going to go ahead and say, oh, well, there's a small wizard afoot. Not you, <laughs> but the other. Well, not small anymore. Now she's kind of like a tall wizard. So he's going to mosey on over in front of uh, Red. collecting his weapons. Oh, yeah. That, well, no, he, he just like, he looks up and he's like, <laughs> oh. just crack, ah! cracks his talons. Pops some feathers. He has his shield, he just doesn't have his uh, his okay. hammer. Hammer. All right, and unfortunately that's his turn. Wake, you're up. Ezra, catch me! I leap. <laughs> <laughs> Would that be athletics? We're, do we're doing some Swan Lake no. bullshit here. Ac acrobatics versus athletics. <laughs> oh, where's my D2? Hey! Oh now we're talking. Arms hoisted up, I catch him as gracefully as possible. Natural 20. There you go. All right, uh, yeah, that is a 23 for my leap. Swan Lake! <laughs> yep, no, you guys are, you guys, like, so now you just watch Caster off in the distance. Holds up a 9.5. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> and, and my character's going, not bad. No, 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 I've done that much. it's just a... Just a Not very hurt nine. Meanwhile, Wake a size category larger than him. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Get him, Mongo! But unfortunately, that means that you also rolled a 20 on yeah, your side. Yeah, so he did well. He did well, but, <laughs> but he is... straining. <laughs> but he is straining, so I am going to get that strain damage in there. <laughs> to be fair... Max, now, uh, six. What's your strength bonus? Uh, my strength bonus is a three. That's nine, nine points of damage. As you watch as Shadow Ezra kind of goes, huh! <laughs> Wait, let me just double check. How much HP? You have a max HP of 42? Yes. When I had all my let temporary Let me calculate this points, correctly. 42 was the highest I got. I entered this arena with 42. Yeah. We had those. 34 is my natural cap. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> hits the floor, but just barely, like... <laughs> Holds him up. Just, this man looks like if you sneezed on him, he would just turn into bricks. Good, because prepare for my second attack. I'm gonna get this even. I'm gonna make this really gay. I'm gonna tickle you. <laughs> How do I resist? What do I do? Is this a constitution save? <laughs> no, this is... Okay. Am mm. I too smart to be tickled? Kind of tickle, tickle, tickle. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> sleight of hand. Alright. Oh, my sleight of hand? Versus a con save. Okay. Okay. Uh, 12. Natural 20. <laughs> you are the <laughs> best fucking tickle. <laughs> I am the tickle master. I know everything about chakra points, son. <laughs> Wait, no, stop, stop. <laughs> and we collapse to the ground. Yeah, so, uh... <laughs> You are knocked prone. You That's roll fine. an unarmed strength. Like, you just roll a strength check. Strength check? Yeah. Okay. Uh, strength check of 19. Oh, wait, no. Uh, strength check is 22. Okay. That's a strength check, by yeah, the way. Yeah, a check. Damage. Damage. A check. A For check. a second, <laughs> my brain no. was like, so oh roll my one, god. Roll a 1d4 with your strength. 1d4 with strength. Gotcha. That's a uh, seven. All right, seven points of damage to you as he comes tumbling down on top of you. Oh, we have fun. <laughs> we have fun here. 
<laughs> I've taken extra. <laughs> <laughs> I've been stabbed and hurt As less. there is now a spectral form leaving underneath spectral wake and is gone. <laughs> I look I look at the beads, crossbow bolts, and giant scaffy. Gone. Oh. No! All that for nothing! Magic giant wake. <laughs> tickle, tickle, tickle. <laughs> so... Cue the Mario mushroom sound effect as the other three grow another size. Christ. I look over at Gargantuan Wake. Hey, we're doing pretty good. Hey, we're doing pretty good. His voice is now so Now you deep. sound like Strong Bad. <laughs> we're doing pretty good over here, man. His voice is so deep you can't even hear it. It just sounds like a guttural vibration. <laughs> you feel it in the it's, floor it's, it's, more than it's, anything it's, else. It's just way awake. <laughs> <laughs> Some people should probably start doing damage to Giant Wake because he's taking everything out. <laughs> uh, one quick second. Since we did make him gargantuan, I have to fix something. Nope. Oh, yep. <laughs> Come on, Barabbas. This seems like a guy you could fight. <laughs> oh, and number two should probably be uh, big uh, as well. No, number two's fine. It's just because of the fact that she's not a quadruped. Ah, uh, okay. Makes sense. She's not a quadruped like uh, Eloy. All right, so now we are up to... Man, shame, if you got any bigger, like, and if I couldn't breathe water, I could just stick my head out <laughs> the water up there. <laughs> no, he's still got some pretty decent height. Uh, oh, yeah, I know, but like I said, if I could do that, I could drown a normal person, but, <laughs> but I breathe a, water. Yeah. Okay, so, Ezra, you're up. You have... Yeah. Wake sitting on top of you. I assist. I, I get. I roll off you. <laughs> uh, I'm going oh, to say, with, because it's a friendly action, I will allow you to roll me an acrobatics check, so you don't have to use up a move save, a move uh, action. Oh, okay. Yeah, you can kip up. Uh, ba -ba -ba. uh, sixteen. Yeah, you just like lightly push him off, and, and he helps you stand up. <laughs> yeah, real fun. I <laughs> say, just getting him off. Could be a good act. <laughs> Giant wake. <laughs> yeah, let's keep him. <laughs> Can we? <laughs> no. Oh. He would fucking sink the Yeldon. <laughs> Swim behind it. He's real fast, I bet. <laughs> hey, if, if this embiggening process goes on forever, he could be our new sister ship. <laughs> <laughs> Strap a deck to his back. Just roop, roop, roop. Too bad he must fall. The SS Mongo. <laughs> Take a few steps forward. And I aim at Giant Wake. I should regather my things at some point. Ah, not that great. Uh, he is giant, though, so his AC is lower. Yeah. Mm. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. I believe uh, by minus four at this category. He's got an AC. He's got an AC deficit, but he's got resistance now. Yeah. Uh, 14. 14? That would probably hit. That that would match at a minus 4 anyway. Uh, minus 4? If it does match, then yeah, then you hit. Yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, 7. Alright, let me get the next category side die. Where's uh. my D8? Here it is. What was it? 7. It's been reduced to 1. Okay. So just like a little needle just got shot yeah. into him. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> Minus one. All right. Uh, it is now uh, Red's turn. Okay. She now sees the giant. The giant. <laughs> uh, <laughs> she looks at the giant horse and now the giant fish. She's just like, I don't know which is worse. <laughs> And a just moderately bigger her. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, and a moderately bigger, uh, bigger her. Yeah, the giant wake is just starting to sit up off the ground. <laughs> All right, so... Da, 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 da. You watch as... You watch as Red throws a fireball at Big U. She... will miss, unfortunately. I can't believe she missed. <laughs> I look at her, I'm like, 
How do you miss something that big? It's can't hit the, oh, you can't miss hit the broad side of a giant big. wave. However, her turning around, big her, kind of like takes a step and almost knocks into Barabbas. Oh! Barabbas, you unlucky bird. Oh no, Barabbas. <laughs> Fucking Jesus. <laughs> you watch as Big Red. <laughs> Big Red? Oh. Big Red turns around and her heel knocks into Barabbas and pushes him over. Brock! Big Red. Not knock prone, but for two points of damage. Wait, no, I have to roll the D. No, she didn't grow gargantuan. She only grow. She only grew big, for another two points of damage. Rabbis is just not having a good night. Your Riss. breath goes on and on. Well, you <laughs> chew it. Riss will run up to Barabbas and give him another pat. Yep, right there. A natural one. Oh no! Does he heal Big Red? No, he doesn't heal Big Red. He uses. The dark side of his body. Oh no. Okay! Goes to pat him on the shoulder. His hand goes through him and pulls out what looks like an ethereal version of when he was pulled out, out of Barabbas. Oh no. That'll be useful later, Wake says. <laughs> <laughs> you watch as Barabbas feels this intense chill down his spine. As he hits the floor, his eyes roll into the back of his head. Talk about it. And he's like that eyes. now for the next round. Riss, remember that for later. That'll probably be pretty cool. No! <laughs> Riss is beside himself. Like, what did I do? <laughs> and it is now Ben's turn. You're strong against all my spells. <laughs> I'm I'm gonna um, Who knows, maybe being giant made him dumb. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, shoot my short bow at him at uh, at Big Wake. Big Wake, alright. Take a shot. Uh twenty two. That'll definitely hit. That will absolutely hit. <laughs> alright. I've, I've had this thing since the first adventure. First time I've ever shot it that I can rem remember. A little dust flies off the Ooh. bowstring. Max, uh, max damage too. Nine piercing. Nine nice. piercing. All right, let me roll that. Let me roll <laughs> for him. I keep losing this eight. How do I keep losing an eight? This is stupid. B b b b b. That's a ten. Here we go. Here's the eight. Only chocks off three of that. Mm. Minus three. Let me quickly do some math because I think this might be the killing blow. Oh my! On me? <laughs> might be. <laughs> Holy shit! I didn't even realize I took damage. Oh, wait, I took some of red damage, right? Yeah, you took yeah. some of red damage. So, 17. She heated up them scales, something fierce. 15. So and I've shot you a couple two, times. 2, 3, so. Da, da, da. 3, 11, 1, 3. No, he's not looking too good. He's still standing, though. But you can visibly see the damage has been dealt to Big Wake. And we're back up the list. Okay, I turn back to I turn up turn back to the big wake, and uh, I'm gonna cast lightning bolt. Ooh, I'm a fish man, man. that'll probably be pretty good. Ooh, go ahead and what, what, exp explain that for the crowd. All right, okay, so this is quite this is a doozy. A stroke of lightning forming a line of a 100 feet long and five feet wide blasts out from you in a direction you choose towards Giant Wake, if you couldn't tell. Each creature in the line must make a dexterity saving throw. Oh. Mm. A creature takes 8d6 lightning damage, or in the case of 4th level and 5th level, 9d6 worth of damage on a failed save. And even if there's a successful one, still half as much damage. Okay. The okay. lightning ignites flammable objects in the area that aren't being worn or carried. Oh, thank God those <laughs> explosive bolts <laughs> and beads are gone. <laughs> <laughs> Roll. Okay. Wait, isn't it a DC? Is it yeah, he gets a. It's a. It's he, a gets dex, a spell, it, he gets a spell attack though. No, no. It's, a, it's an Wait. attack. It's a. Oh. It's a dex save. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so let me. Is, is Giant Wake going to attempt this? Like, or is he mirroring Gi my actions? Giant entirely? Wake. You would assume he's not going to, but the ethereal version of himself, as you watch, 
all the other, like, you're seeing, since he's the interloper, apparently the ethereal version is like, no, this is not honorable, fuck this. Hey, stop desyncing my me. Stop <laughs> doing that. So he's gonna try and bulk up, you watch his big wakes, like, little after image. <laughs> his, his That's not the way to do it, I tell him. <laughs> his ethereal chat is saying, audio, desync, audio. <laughs> <laughs> Turn the webcam on and off. <laughs> All right, he rolled a 17, and because of his do you dark... Want my, do you want my dex? Uh, my, yeah, your dex, please. My dex is a... Uh, for dex saves, it's a plus eight. All right, but with his size category now shifting it... Yeah, his uh, dex currently is plus five. I don't know what his uh, what that size does to dex. That would mean that it would be shrunk down to two. Okay, so that would be plus uh, five, then. Five? Okay. So a 17. Right. So, uh, what did it have to? What did it have to beat? Uh, I had a. It would be a fifteen. So. Oh, so yeah. he's only taking half that damage. It's still pretty sizable. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so it's t uh, ninety-six of damage. So we'll half that. Yeah. Okay. So, so that'll be. Okay. I'm gonna make that five. Yeah, five d six. Five d six. Yeah. Okay, so seven. Ooh, hey. Seven 19. plus twelve. Nineteen. Yeah. Oh. Twenty-six. Oh, oh, you, oh you, wait, sorry, my bad. Sorry. Yeah, you just needed to roll five. All right, sorry. Okay, that was... So you, you had, you had 19, on 19 and just roll one more. All right, 19, 21. Yeah, 21 so, points uh, of lightning damage on Big Mongo. Me. No. No, you just, you just watch him go... <laughs> I'll remember you <laughs> as he fades away into the rift. <laughs> like no! the Terminator. <laughs> oh, wait, no, don't worry. We ain't done yet. <laughs> well. Because now. And now basically. Yeah. Because now. Gargantuan, Gargantuan Eloy. Eloy. And Big Red. So basically. Uh, no, no, the, the, uh, yeah. the, the two was red. Uh, the yeah. Two was red. Yeah. Sorry. So basically, since I had a bond with the big wake of waving, I'm just waving like. Okay, bye. No, no, no. It's, it was more like a nice fight. <laughs> <laughs> nice to fight, though. <laughs> All right. Now we're back up the list. Uh, Go Barabbas. Barabbas. <laughs> oh, wait. So it, that Barabbas is... Big Red got, got stomped. So, so here's he's underneath Big Red. Okay. I, just just like <laughs> we've always wanted to be, and that's my... Uh, just <laughs> stepped on. <laughs> Poor bastard's getting stepped on. Let's see what happens here. Nope, she misses. Did his soul get to come back from whatever friggin' Riss accidentally did? I think Riss let him go. He just okay. like... Riss he's let like, him go. Oh, God. Yeah, now he's just like staying there. So now I'm going to roll to see so he if only he... Died oh, for, me! <laughs> yeah, he only died for a second. He only died for a second. Let me see if he rolls to get out he of got it. better. No, he's still kind of stunned. You see his eyes still kind of like rolled in the back of his head. So you just have Barabbas sitting there going... On his knees. Wake, you're up. All right. Well, sure is a lot of Big space balls. between me and everything else. I will say this, though, just since we're back up the list. Since you watched as Big Wake disappear, the ethereal versions of themselves kind of like seem like they're moving now on their own as if they're actually gaining a somewhat sentience as more of them are disappearing. Well, shit. Okay, I am going to move over here. Uh, max move speed, I believe, gets me here. Yep. I'm going to pull out my metal dagger and try to stick it in red. Go for it. I would have threw this at your head. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that is a... I should have this memorized by now. 26 to hit. I'm assuming something that size. Yeah, you're going to hit him. Yeah, it'll take reduced damage, but whatever. It will take a higher dice of reduced damage, so that's a d10. Hey, she's the same size as Wake was. Oh, that's and, right. That's yeah. right. That's eight. Sorry. So it's an eight. Yeah. Uh, eight. Stink. <laughs> Just kind of sticks in her. The after image. <laughs> oh, no! They've learned! All right. That, that wasn't even her turn. <laughs> Your turn. She's big. I mean, her turn was going to come before Eloy's anyway, but... Um... I... 
You left all your stuff on the floor. I'm just going to let you know. Yeah, that stuff's still, like, here. Okay. That's fine. I, I, I won't use scaffy explosive bolts or glass beans. Okay. Hopefully they don't get into too much trouble sitting by themselves. <laughs> uh, and I take aim at Big Eloy. Hey, you big dummy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 19. 19? Uh, minus four. Does that hit you? Uh, What's your AC? Uh, AC, the AC is minus four? No, 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 just your AC. What is your AC? 15. 15, so... A 19, 19 would definitely hit. Yeah. yeah. A 19 would hit me normally, yeah. so... Uh, 11. 11 points of damage, you say. Let me roll this. Oh, I rolled a D4 instead of a D6. I'm a dummy. Whatever. All right, so he's taking six points of damage. I gotta say this, out of everyone, Big Eloy is the beefiest out of everyone. He is the <laughs> least damaged. All right, uh, it is now... Uh, <laughs> We've mostly let him just fight himself. So. Yeah. <laughs> and yeah. all he was doing was bashing his own head. And now they're slowly gaining sentience, so imagine yeah. that. Yeah, we're I mean, gonna have to fight a giant Eloy. And now... Big I mean, I red. Con I convinced himself into, in, <laughs> into taking 12 damage from that pratfall, but that, that's, I think, the biggest hit we've dealt him. All right, Red notices that Big Her would probably be a very bad fight at this point, since it's probably gaining sentience, it's getting bigger, and most of her attacks were meant to, like, nuke someone smaller. <laughs> yeah. So she's going to go Just for Big Eloy being the bigger target. Everyone roll a perception check. 17. <laughs> Natural wonders! <laughs> Modified 20. Big me, no. I'm still so sad that I 18. lost Mongo. So. Modified 20. 20. 17. 18. You guys are watching as Red is going right for, uh, Red is going for Eloy. Go ahead and move her that way, I guess. Oh, no, no, no. She's like, she's aiming. She's ready oh. fi readying a fireball for Eloy. But the rest of you are now also watching as the after image is also aiming for the real Eloy. No, 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 no. I mean, weren't they always doing that? They were, but the flame is bigger and it's visible. Oh. That's not good. Say something quick. Roll persuasion check. No, red. Aim for the fake one. Yep, yep. Big red. Or aim for the real one. Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Well, then she'd hit herself. She'd be hitting oh. herself then. No, but if, 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 yeah, she, but remember, if she shoots a small fireball at Eloy, big, big red would throw a big fireball at Eloy. Yeah, my, I, that, that stammering was about what probably comes out, because my persuasion is a, well, it's a modified nine. Nah, she's still going for it. <sighs> Let me roll. Okay, so I'm going to roll this 1d6. All right. Odds, she uses a regular firebolt. Evens, she rolls fireball. All right. Oh, fireball no. is a dex save. Yeah, my dex's all right. And I've still got resistance. I haven't forgotten. <laughs> Odds. So fireball. Firebolt. Oh, firebolt. Right. Okay. Rolling to hit. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Does a 16 hit? It does. I'm gonna roll that damage on Big Eloy. Aww. All right, that's an eight on Big Eloy. Let me roll to negate that. Seven, one point of damage. Ugh. Big Eloy remaining the ever chunk. And now you watch as a bigger fireball now hurls towards you. At first you thought, oh, it's probably not going to reach. It's not stopping. Oh. So that plus the extra die. 12, 13, 14. That's 14 fire damage. Ooh. Yikes. Well, those temporary hit points from that unicorn food were uh, were helpful. Spicy. Also gone. So, the ghosts are becoming more real now. 
We've all noticed this, and you yeah. were the test bed. <laughs> now it's Rift's turn. He ru He's like, oh no. And then he goes to run to you, stops himself, and now I'm going to roll to see if he gets out of his own self-doubt. Oh yeah, he does. He just, he stops. Use good hand. One. This good one. Hand. You are not a gun. <laughs> Walks on over to you, gives you, a, says a nice little prayer underneath his breath, and like kind of edges his claws into your chest and presses down, and we will roll for your heal. Ooh, didn't roll pretty good. That's only five HP. Oh, that still brings me up to full. I had a bunch of temp HP that took the brunt of that fire blast. So I'm in good shape. All right. And now we're up to uh, we're up to you, actually. All right. Let's see. What now, might Now that you know that happened. Yep. Is is uh, is clone me still prone or is he up now? Uh at this point he's getting up. Okay. In the act of standing. Hmm. You watch. You watch as he's on the floor, but then that puppeteering, which is from the after image, just grabs him by the by the body and picks him up and puts him back into place. The after image is what was what was puppeteering the other creatures. Hmm. In that case, I'm not going to take any risks here. <laughs> no friendly fire. Hey, you big dummy! <laughs> Bash my head into that pillar again. Or rather, into the where the pillar would be. Okay. Well, I'm gonna see if he follows me. Oh no, he's going to. <laughs> but now you watch as his after image is like, nah, son, fuck that. <laughs> what melee weapons do you have on hand? Uh, I've got a short sword and a mithril scimitar. He takes the scimitar, and the after image slices at the pillar. Interesting. It changes the attack. Yeah. As a giant, he cleaves through the... All right, let me roll athletics for him. Oh, fuck yeah. You watch as the scimitar cleaves it out of the way, and after image you, whiffs. All right, worth a try. <laughs> What's that do to the supports of this room? They're not attached to a surface. Oh, okay, good. They're decoration. Gotcha. Garish. Decorative columns. All right, we are back up the list, but before we do that, uh, you see that uh, waterfall that's coming in from the ceiling? Uh -huh. Now that the after Im images are having their own little, like, their own little bits, fits of sentience? Uh-huh. It's getting bigger. That's much bigger. The water is rushing in a lot more. <laughs> Barriers hold it's not, three it's, sizes that day. It's, it's not going to take effect this turn, but next turn it will have consequences. Your turn. Okay, I'm anticipating now that Eloy, that this Eloy thing is going to become much more trouble, so I am going to cast Crown of Madness on him. Yo. I like where this is going. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we'll see how this we'll see how this goes. All right, so Crown of Madness. What does it, what dice rolls need to be made here? Um, so I believe it's a will save. It, does, yeah, basically, it's a wisdom saving throw. Against you. Against Eloy. Okay, so... Hey, I like that roll. Uh, that would be a six, which would fail against your spell DC. Yes, yes, it would. Against 15. Yep. So, yeah. Would you like me to explain? Sure. One humanoid of your choice that you can see within a range must succeed on a wisdom save throw, which you did not, or yep. become charmed by you for the duration, which is one minute. You are now controlling big Eloy. So, while the target is charmed in its way, a twisted crown of jagged irons appears on its head, and a man that's glows in its eyes. The charmed target must use its action before moving on each of its turns to make a melee attack against a creature other than itself you mentally choose. Moving red. So, basically, yeah. The target can act normally on its turn if you choose no creature, or if it's a... Fuck that, I'm choosing a creature. <laughs> yeah. But, yeah. On your subsequent turns, you must use your action to maintain control over the target, or the spell ends. Alright, so what do you wish Big Eloy to do? Uh, stomp all over Big Red, pretty much. Oh, all right. They're the same size, I 
mate. No, I think isn't that like gargantuan and the big red was like well, one that's size That's just because lower? he's a centaur. That's because he's a centaur. Well, so I'm yeah, it's spread apart. Okay. Mm. Well, still, I wish to just basically just like almost kind of just go look to Eloy. You just go. Like, Get her. That one. <laughs> I oh. just with my my, my quarter stop. Mm. Whack. Barabbas. Squaw. He gets out of it. <laughs> okay, I'm back. What I- ah! <laughs> <laughs> Fucking going to use his shield to run and disengage. Make him go back. Yep, right there. He's sick of being in the middle of that hot nonsense. <laughs> should find his hammer. He runs back towards his hammer yeah. and pretty much gets it. <laughs> All right. Your turn. All right. Uh, let's see. The Eloy is being controlled. The red has taken a bunch of damage. But I have no reason to not attack the red. Do... -do, -do. You know what? Screw it. <laughs> Go for the Big fun. Red needs to make a deck save. All right. With a minus four. Big Red makes a four. That's a big old fail. She takes 3d10 water damage. Is that a water whip on her? <laughs> yep, and I am doing... <laughs> I mean, it does say I can, like, I drag or pull prone. In this case, I think I'm going to pull it prone. Because, you know, just gotta go under so the So I'm going to, f I want to fluff this for you if you will allow me. Go right ahead. I'm gonna start rolling damage and adding it up. You watch as the waterfall is getting larger and larger. You hold your hand out towards the waterfall and stop it. <laughs> it creates a tip. It's not touching the floor. And it reacts as a whip and slaps at Big Red. Yeah, I just do like a quick prayer. <laughs> Doing 22 minus whatever. Yeah. Big ol' avatar moment. You slice her clean in half. Fuck. Well, oh. that makes that crown of madness not very great, unfortunately. Oh, well. I, actually, that makes that all right. Clone Eloy is now being controlled and uh, wearing he, an well, uh, and wearing an iron crown, a crown made of metal that he cannot remove. <laughs> that's true. That that's that's good, but no, like, keep the that problem there. Burr, 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 burr. Bigger. Mm. Oh, oh, now Eloy takes up three. The problem with the Crown of Madness is the Crown of Madness forces it to attack, yep. not to be controlled. Now, now that he has grown larger, you watch as the after image completely washes over the true form, and now it has its own initiative role. Oh, great. Yep. Hopefully that means I can... At the bottom of the list. Hey! It is now an actual combatant in this fight. <laughs> so congratulations, you have washed away all the clones to now face giant Eloy. <laughs> <laughs> I always Eloy. knew this is how it would go. <laughs> <laughs> one day, it would come to this. <laughs> However, there is one more thing to add to this. And you guys are all gonna be mad, but as that after image glows on top of it, you watch as all the wounds you inflicted Refill. Yeah. No, that's, I, I figured as much. It's okay. He had very few wounds to begin with. Yep. Yeah. So we also, are now facing also, let's giant get, Eloy. Let's get real. Up until this point, it was more of a puzzle than a battle. So. Yeah. <laughs> All right. We are now at... Does anyone need to take a break before we continue this I'm, fight? I'm still I'm good. I want to... Yeah, I'm good. We're still yep. in? Okay. Yeah, I want to roll through this. All yeah. right. So <laughs> big, let me write this down. Big Eloy. <laughs> Big Eloy now has a, all these other stats that are written down here. And so your HP was 50, uh, 45? Yep. 45. Let me roll something. Question, is Crown of Madness still in effect? Yes. Okay. Crown of Madness is still in effect. He can't get that off, but it did grow with him. Boop, boop, boop. Plus that much equals seven. Okay, I have now have the new HP for Big Eloy. We are ready to continue combat. And it is now Red's turn. Red, seeing now she has no shackles in which to use her own might, dumps You're her. welcome. Yep. <laughs> she just nods in agreement. Thank you for that. I don't actually say you're welcome. I just kind of nod at her. She's I'm not going, an asshole. She's going to dump the rest of her magic pool into a fireball. Let's heat this big boy up. 
Doing that oh so good fucking uh that spirit bomb of fire. <laughs> trying to make that deck save, gigantic Eloy. All right, well, Gigantic Eloy is going to get a very bad deck save because of how gargantuan he is now. What is your dex, by the way? Uh, it's a plus three mod. Plus three? Yep. Oh, uh, dex mod. Oh, if it's a dex save, that would be plus six. Yeah. It has been cut down to a plus one. Hey! No! He's not saving this at all! <laughs> Time to roll that damage. That's right. You suck me. Wait. <laughs> All right, that's... Hey, you even bigger dummy. <laughs> <laughs> You're on fire. <laughs> four, four, five. Eight, 14. Three. Holy shit. That is 30 points of damage, and that is all of Red's magic. That was nothing to sneeze at. You watch. Hey, you big dummies, the world will suffer for all this. Ah! <laughs> like, I imagine he just has, like, that Elmer Fudd gun just blew up. Yeah, in his the, face. Uh, the after effect of when a gun shoots you in the face in a Looney Tunes cartoon. That's essentially what just happened. <laughs> and that's red. Uh, Risp. Uh, Risp will add resistance onto Barabbas. Here you go. Here you go, I'm sorry. And you watch Barabbas visibly, like, flinch. Ugh. <laughs> don't touch me again! Please don't touch me. <laughs> no, it's, it's okay, I'm using this hand. <laughs> <laughs> looks looks over to you guys. I voted we killed him. <laughs> I voted that, and now he's saving you. <laughs> All right, uh... It is now Eloy's turn, and then Big Eloy. All right. Um, I was thinking heat metal, but actually, well, yeah, because you need to use your, your action every turn to keep that going. That's probably not the greatest. So, spooky song. Uh, he gets against a... Against your own will. Yep. He gets a wisdom saving throw against me, which... You that does not disappear with his size. Yeah, well, it's still only a plus two. All righty. Uh, versus DC 15. 20. Ah. Nope. That'll do it. Well, he still takes half damage. All righty. So uh, that'd be 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, so 5. Okay, good hit. Isn't it rounded up? Um. Oh, yeah, you're right. It would be 6. 6? Okay, that's yeah. fine. Do. Every damage counts. Yep. <laughs> He's a big chunky boy. Damage does count. We no damage left that. behind. Yeah, we don't need Big that. Eloy, what do I have to roll to get out of this crowd of madness? Uh, it's a basically uh, can, on subsequent throws. It's a wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw, or he does nothing. At 14, 15, 16. Does a 16 beat you? Beat my 15. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Okay, I'm glad I didn't go for that heat metal. <laughs> now we're useless. Just rips it up. That's what I think about your crown. <laughs> it sucks. It's made of pain. <laughs> he will make a move action, though. Mm -hmm. Hey, you big dummy. Oh, no. <laughs> cutting gigantic cutting words. <laughs> <laughs> He will make a shift. <laughs> <laughs> With every step of his hooves, the All earth All right, so what do I got to do for vicious mockery? Um, it's a will save, isn't it? Yeah. Does, does it take him an action to break out of the crown of madness, though? It does. Okay, then vicious mockery is an action, so he wouldn't be able to do both what in one What bonuses turn. do you have? What bonus actions do you have? Um, not much. Yeah, the only real bonus action is... is to maintain spells that he's already cast. All right, then we're pretty much... You now have a giant <laughs> donkey centaur looking down at you. <laughs> okay. It's my turn. Okay. I had just the backup plan. I cast Hold Person. Oh! Ooh. That's, an that's another wisdom saving throw. Okay. Well, they're paralyzed for the duration, which is one minute. 
What do I? What's the roll against Wisdom it? Wisdom saving. Wisdom saving. All right, plus two. It's eight. Hey. hey. <laughs> so I'm basically I. So I'm basically looking up, and he's just going, <laughs> and it's just going. <laughs> now it's going like. Hmm. Just snaps her fingers. Hold it. Wait, what? What are we? Why? What are we stopping for? You. No, you. Oh. Back up the list. Barabbas picks up his hammer. I've had enough of this. Runs up to behind Eloy and gets flanked because you're right in front of him. <laughs> mm-hmm. Finally, Barabbas, one idea is the right one. <laughs> <laughs> but he misses. Ah! His leg's probably like the size of a goddamn tree. <laughs> okay, so he didn't miss. He actually struck true. Just hit the hoof and Kong. just deflected. Yeah, he hit the hoof. <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Your turn. All right. 5, 10, 15, 20, 20. Oh, we're back up the list. That's right. The consequence of the water is oh. now in effect. Oh. Go ahead and tell me what that is. So yeah, I'm standing water. right at the edge. Uh, I, 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 into the microphone right. now. Let me just let me just add this and then I'll put it in. Oh no. The water is filling the room. Not bad news for you, I guess. Absolutely not, not bad, bad news. Not bad news for, me. for you. Okay, so if you're on the edge of the yep. water that just filled in the rest of the room, that's only like knee high. Okay. Anywhere deeper inside of it, it's waist high. Getting in that black center right there, that's chest high water. So being inside this ring is now considered rough terrain. Okay, so being inside this whole thing? Is... Being in there is just absolutely rough. Being okay. inside that, the other half of it, that's still rough terrain. Okay. Being outside of it is fine. Okay. So you say I'm in like waist high water? You are now in waist high water, yes. Okay. That, does not that you. makes what I'm going to do much more flavorful. <laughs> I'm going to submerge, swim over, and dolphin sure oh, you no. can my way up onto his giant donkey ball sack. <laughs> <laughs> Roll the hit. I, I would like to remind the audience that Eloy canonically wears no undergarments. <laughs> yup. <laughs> Oh no! Uh, I can't wait. For Twenty-seven the fan art of to this hit. Twenty-seven? <laughs> yeah, that hits. All right. You should have water whipped him and castrated the boy. <laughs> I only have so much key, my friend. <laughs> All right, that is uh, ten damage. All right. And then on my way down, I'm going to tail flip into it. <laughs> All right. Oh wait, yeah, this is my bonus melee action, so nope. I'm gonna do that real quick. Flurry of blows uh, on that basically. Sack. <laughs> Flurry of blows that nuts. Uh, that is oh, a no. twenty to hit modified. That will hit. All right. It's quite the target. Yep. <laughs> but I do have to roll the damage negation. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> uh, seven damage. All right. Come so. on. It's just and more then surface area of real sensitive tissue. My <laughs> final attack. I will use. Uh, God, this poor boy. I will use my spear as my final attack on the way down. That 20. (laughs) Yes, sir. All right. (laughs) Look over at you like, thanks for not wearing pants. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, 2d6 plus dex. Uh, That is... uh, 6, 9 plus 14. What's the, I have, to, I have to, for the separate rolls for the defense, what's the two dice? Uh, six and three, and it's magical silver. Okay. Piercing. Six and three. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yes. She has a Prince Albert. <laughs> he wasn't circumcised, just, he, he is now. Oh! <laughs> so no, you let loose all these attacks. Going ham on that nuts. You went fucking ham. <laughs> Moyle, wake up in here. Be big, big Eloy. Stop that. <laughs> oh, you put the 11 damage at the end all. <laughs> it kind of nerfed. Like, again, this thing nerfed it. Even even magical? It resists magic damage? Holy shit. Just mm-hmm. damage numbers. I can numbers. imagine the real Eloy is just like, almost going, Ooh. Oh, no! <laughs> this is out of empathy. Don't, don't get it twisted, though. You did do damage. <laughs> you did do damage. 
Out of all of that, though, you did nine damage. Okay. I'm gonna assume most of it was in the stabbing through the nutsack. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Don't get it twisted. As my next attack, I get it twisted. <laughs> <laughs> Grapple! <laughs> no! I'm gonna pretzel fly this motherfucker! <laughs> I grapple the dong! <laughs> we have fun here at DFS at the table. <laughs> Hold on, I think there's a ruling in here for grappling serpents that might have... <laughs> <laughs> that works. <laughs> oh, fuck. Hold on, I'm getting this... All right. Okay. I love this dice. <laughs> All right, so we are now up to Ezra. Uh, I stealth kind of behind the waterfall. I kind of just kind of slink away to get. That would be stealth with a disadvantage because you are in waist high water. Okay, that's fair. You are teetering on the edge of this being chest high water. Uh, okay. 16. All right. So I'm just kind of like trying to be. You are now inside the chest high water. Sorry. I'm Around the rim there. Yeah. I'm trying to be basically just. <laughs> behind the waterfall, but still have line of sight on the You guy. do. From okay. where you are, you're fine. Okay. Then I take aim with my crossbow and let loose. Uh, with, and with a sneak attack, it's with advantage, right? Yes. Okay. He is not facing you, so you do get a sneak attack. Ah, not much better. Um, uh, 17. 17? 17 to hit or to... To hit. You hit him. Okay, cool. Uh, so now I get my usual D8 plus 3D6. Uh, minimum damage on that D8. So uh, seven. Seven? Seven damage? And then uh, let me just do my D6. As oh quick. my fucking Christ, he completely negated it. Uh, hold on, he's still rolling the yeah, sneak yeah, attack no, damage. Yeah, that first though. roll he did. Yeah. Uh, and then... Eight. Eight. That you hit for seven damage. All right. All right. You got a good chunk out of him. He's get he's, him in the haunches. Yeah. He no. He's getting tired. He's he he's slowing down. You're you're seeing your effects take hold on this boy. The after image is not as sporadic as it once was, especially after your attack and his attack. It probably doesn't know what it's like to have testicles, so I was probably just slapping flesh for no reason. <laughs> <laughs> Next is... Hey, the flavor, flavor text was fine. Yeah. Flavor text no, was super I did, fine. I, I play for flavor. <laughs> All right, Dark next... Ball flavor. God damn it. Next is Red. <laughs> red, I'm going to roll to see to get her out of there. She's out of magic, so she really doesn't have all that much left to do at this point. Stay behind me. Yeah, she's going to... Oh, she got pushed over by the water, so she's knocked prone and pushed back three feet. Uh, three squares. Good idea, Red. You stay down there. <laughs> Risf. Risf is underwater at Help. this point. Take a doggy paddle. Come on, buddy. Not what a nat one he can't. Oh. Oof. He's taking suffocation damage from fucking breathing in all that water. And he is pushed back. Let's see. Three squares and hits the floor as he gets going. Bleh. Right there. Gets pushed back Bleh. out for swallowing water for five points. And for that for that pushback. Oh my god. Fucking threw this boy all over the goddamn place. He is a little. That was 17 points of damage as his bones and body are thrashed about as the water pushes him away. Oh. <laughs> Poor rest. You just, wa you just watch him flop out like a fish on dry land out of the water. <laughs> <coughs> He's been through so much. <laughs> and those poor clownfish, all their fucking houses are probably just ruined. Uh, Leave rich. it to Wake to think of the fish. <laughs> Minus 18. Yep. All right, he's on the floor as well. Eloy, you are out of the range of the water. You're fine. All right. Spooky song. He gets a wisdom save at plus two. 
Wisdom save at plus two. Does a 14 match? It does not. All right. All right. So he's taken 3d6 psychic damage. Uh, that'll be 11, 15. 15. Only negates two points of that. A. Hey. And if he if he had a reaction, he would have to flee. But I'm guessing the uh, the hold person supersedes that. Yes, it he's does. Paralyzed. Mm -hmm. That's fine. <laughs> I'm I'm in it for the psychic damage. Yep, yep. So, I'm in it for the spooks. So you Get did. Scared. So how much? It was. But once he is able to move, <laughs> uh, it was 15, 15 minus so whatever. It's 13. Yeah. Oh no, wait. Oh yeah, so that's... Okay. Your turn. Um, okay. So wait, do I have to roll to get out you of the restraint? You have to get a wisdom saving. All right, here we go. Yes, that's its turn, right? Yes, it's, yeah. it's, it's a big Eloy's turn. Oh no, uh, big Eloy rolled a 21. Ooh. Okay, yeah, that broke. <laughs> I'm so scared. <laughs> What's your biggest damage dealing ability? Um, let me see here. In this <laughs> case, <laughs> actually, you know what? Let me just check out your sheet. Uh, sure. She, if, if it's wearing anything metal, probably that. Uh, she is not wearing uh, metal. In ah. fact. Oh. Yeah, it's it's probably either yeah damage dealing either uh, heat metal if there's a good target around or else dissonant whispers if not. My best guess is the fact that it's a giant. It's going to cast sleep. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Actually, you know what? That is fair. You're right. That is not a really big damage dealio. Yeah. No I'm, damage at all, really. No damage at all. So it's going to use dissonant whispers on you. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm, I'm spec for uh. Spec for control, not DPS. Yes. Thankfully, if this guy wants to prioritize, uh, he could really fuck our shit up if he wanted to use my control spells. With the amount of HP he's got, that's not worth it. <laughs> so that is a 14. Uh, that's... So, so Dissonant Whispers would give uh, would give you a saving throw. Yes, yeah, so you've okay. got to roll a Wisdom saving throw. Yeah. So, okay, that's plus three. Yep. All right. 18. Ooh. You if, dodge. Yep. Phew. But it still has to roll for damage, yes? Um, half yeah, damage. half damage. So, so 3d6. 3d6. It's 3d6 plus the attack bonus, though, because of how big he is. Mm. He's big. His words carry a lot of <laughs> yeah, it's scariness. It's the after image. 5, 6, 11 plus. You're only taking half this. 11. 17, uh, so... So nine. 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 nine, okay. Nine points of damage. All right. As you hear haunting, like, whispers just enter your mind and scream at you various strange things about giant big rock mountains and how they <laughs> they slay all of your people. <laughs> she just pulls out a flute and it sounds like a, like a goddamn oh. organ. Yeah, it sounds like a boat horn. Yeah. What are those things? The vuvuzelas or whatever? The vuvuzela, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, we are now back up the list. It is now your turn. <clears throat> okay, I'm going to cut. Basically, I'm bas I'm kind of like almost really sad, so I'm casting Mind Spike. Ooh, explain that. You reach into the mind of one creature you can see within range, which is directly ahead of me. Yeah, I can him. see him. Target, <laughs> must <laughs> Target must make another wisdom saving throw, taking 3d8 psychic damage or a failed save, or half as much damage on a successful one. All right, so I got to roll a... Yeah, you got to roll a wisdom save. Wisdom save... What are the rules about casting in melee? Not with a nat one I'm saving. Oh. No. Oh. Whatever they I were. I failed. <laughs> okay, that's a spectacular <laughs> fail. And it's a third or higher, so it's a 48. And as a special thing for getting a natural one, I am taking away its defensive bonus. Ooh. Okay. Uh -huh, I'm going ham on that nut sack. <laughs> so basically, that's um, 48. So basically, I'm kind of like... I'm kind of almost kind of just doing like almost a solar flare type thing, kind of almost like shooting spikes. And while I'm singing, I don't even like mountains! <laughs> like, just kind of the whole mountain thing in my head. It's just like that. I'm just going. I reject <laughs> your mountains! <laughs> Roll the damage. Feels not better! Four, but they're all I know. Eight. Fourteen. Actually, let's just like. Nineteen. Hey. Nineteen. Nineteen damage. All right, so 
Eloy, I don't think you've ever seen what the inside of a skull of one of your people looks like, but you watch as half your entire head off the big boy explodes off, and you watch as gray matter's kind of seeping out. It's still standing, though! What? And this is a concentration thing for up to one hour. So, on a failed save, it's a location on the spot. So basically, the, it goes on to say, on a failed <laughs> save, you also, also always know the target's location until the spell ends, but only while the two of you are in the same plane of existence, which we are. While you have this knowledge, the target can't become hidden from you, and if it's invisible, it gains no benefits from this condition against cool. you. Barabbas. Oh, what? what? Oh, sorry. I, I forgot Barabbas goes before you. Yeah, Barabbas yeah. goes before you. <laughs> <laughs> At least deal some damage today, Barabbas. He hits. Okay. Yay! Yay! <laughs> And wouldn't you know it, he Charlie horses the centaur, <laughs> topples it over, and it starts deforming and defragmenting into ash and returns into the portal. You got Yay, the my character world, got Brandy. the assist. <laughs> and that's where we'll take a break. Works oh, for me. Boy. We'll be right back after these messages. Hello and welcome back to the table. All right, so we killed... Mecha Eloy or Gig Ga Gargantia Eloy. Yeah, let me get him out of there. Egantor. Egantor, yeah, that works. Before this water gets any crazier, I rush back oh, and no, pick it, up my things. It, you watch as it slowly starts to close up as the other one disappears. Okay. So now it's only like waist high water, but you can still walk around with it and it's not letting stuff in. Okay, well, either way, I go back here and pick yeah, up I my stuff. I start slinking into the water as it goes down. I'm, oh, I grow my legs back. There we go. <laughs> The Arrow Sphinx, uh, the Geo Sphinx turns to you. Sorry, Arrow and Geo are two very separately different things. <laughs> yeah, just a little <laughs> bit. Enough. I, I'm pretty sure I saw some fan art of the Arrow Sphinx on a, on a different part of that. It's, uh... <laughs> anyway, the, uh, the Geo Sphinx, like, looks to you all and goes, Mortals have not passed the trials for centuries now. I must congratulate you on, uh, uh, uh uh, uh, on your victory. He, Thanks. You, you watch him, like, lean down and bow. I nudged Wake and pointed at our new friend. You don't think, like, because we cheated, that's gonna ruin this whole thing, do you? Wow, you have really long arms. I look behind <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure everyone now, like, converges, yeah. so, we, like, we don't have to move this, yeah. like, that's theater probably, of the mind, we've basically, all grouped back we up Basically, we don't together. need the map anymore. Yeah, th that was just the combat map, so... You all now reconvene as there is now a halfling sorceress standing there. Uh, so... Hi, thanks. Uh, yeah, th thanks for your assistance. I uh, don't believe we've met. Well, you're, you're most welcome, my, my lords. My name is Isoria, and I am oh, a can wonder... Can called a lord? <laughs> well... <laughs> <laughs> well, all I gotta say, the reason why I called him lord, because my lord, that was a performance with that particular centaur's nutsack. Well... <laughs> I did my damnedest. Uh, my name Clearly. is Blake. Pleasure to meet you. Hiya, I'm Ezra. Uh, these are our traveling group of entertainers, the Lockwood Natural Wonders. Welcome to the, our first free show, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it was quite a donkey show. <laughs> <laughs> Usually you gotta pay a premium for that kind of action. <laughs> Rabbit slaps Wake over the side of the head. <laughs> How dare you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Now, like, I'm surprised you didn't drop your hammer again. <laughs> oh, sure. Hold on. Holds it over your head. <laughs> <laughs> I catch it. <laughs> <laughs> Never go. Mine on. now. <laughs> <laughs> there goes, and here comes Caster down the staircase. Bravo. Yes, bravo. And oh, judging by your appearance and your markings, I say you're one who follows Ludarius. Am I wrong? No, you are not wrong indeed, or at least, you know, it's kind of like an on-off relationship. I see. Now, one may ask, what were you doing going through that portal? This place was supposed to be hidden under... You're under the sea. Do you not understand that? You what? are. Look, look above you. <laughs> you look above you and you watch as there's like a, per a force field surrounding this entire place. But as you look up, it's just the black abyss of the bottom of the ocean. And there's like bioluminescent sharks kind of like swimming past. And this is like oh, 360 feet above you. Oh, I can't do that. <laughs> oh, well, I had no idea. Well, what possessed you to go through that portal? Well, I don't know. All I 
all I know at the time was I heard a voice saying that I may not return until I collect information. What information I seek, I do not know. But all I did know is that that was a humdinger of a fight that I saw. Well, hopefully it was very informative. I, I'm but not... it was very informative. Well, if you, uh, Red looks to you, you, you watch as a female humanoid like, kind of like dust herself off from all the water. Well, if you have no idea what you're doing, but apparently walking through there, you're an ASMR, right? Last time I checked. Maybe Garrick has some more ideas as to what this is about. Apparently, we've been told that no one can pass through that unless they were an ASMR, and this place has been underwater for 3,000 years, and no one's been able to reactivate this thing. I mean, like, yeah. Also, is the, the thing we're looking for, is like, did we just have to pass this trial, or... I thought there was, like, a pillar we had to, like, touch or something. You watch as the Geosphinx actually, like, lowers its head. It kind of, like, lays down. No, it's not next to you. It's still up on the podium. It lays down. You hear a click, and then the wall underneath it rises up. And sitting on a pillar looks like a small... uh, It looks like a glowing cube made of the same energy that's actually surrounding the barrier up top. Pretty. Don't touch it. We don't know how it'll react. Yet. Just give us... Touch nothing but the lamp. <laughs> <laughs> but, if, but, I mean, this is what we're here for, right? You are free to take of it. Yoink! Okay. <laughs> just grab it. Wanted to get spoken permission first. Patience and all that. We're, we just took like some hero trial thing. This is yeah, a, well, this is what's supposed to like not pops Ravi out of here. <laughs> and probably all those trogs too. Yeah, you pretty. Uh, they pretty much just gave you like a really like, so, like they gave you a more powerful version of like the shield that's around you. So pretty much, so long as you have this thing, you now watch as that once the water that was uh, coming down from there, it you picking it up and walking towards it, it actually closes the hole and makes it brighter. Like, the entire barrier now is, like, encased with a brighter light, and the barrier is way stronger. So if we give that to, like, the Uniking, will that make things even bigger? I, I'm pretty sure this is the thing he wants. Okay. Um, I'm sorry, I don't believe we got your name. Oh, well, my apologies. My name is Isoria. Isor- Isoria. Well, Isoria, um, there's an ancient... Do you know what a unicorn is? Well... Roll knowledge. Okay, roll my knowledge. With advantage. Because that's kind of a big deal for you. That'd probably be what? History plus two? History plus two. Nine. Okay, with advantage. With advantage, advantage. so you can roll again again and take the higher of the two. Okay. Nope, nine. (laughs) Nine. Nine. (laughs) You've heard of them. You've heard of them, but... But you're kind of just like, ah, I, I, you know, the people of Ludarius were kind of like talking about like these mythical creatures yeah. that might make that description. Yeah, I, I, I remember them. They're on many cute little bits of merchandise of my people for many other <laughs> young female things. Yes. But I never really understood it. Well, uh, there are a bunch of them back this way, just magical horses with giant horns. Uh, we might want to hurry up before the trogs come back, though, if they have... Uh... <laughs> come back. We sent them to fight Paz Ravi. I'm sure everything you, can resolve itself. The mo- you moment you say that, you hear, you feel a rumbling in the earth as the mountains all start to give, like, a violent shake. Care to, you know, wager? Shall we move? All right, fine. <laughs> you present a valid argument. You actually walk towards where the building was, where that fell... Uh, like, as you're walking out, you actually look towards, like, all the stuff that's around you that's been falling, or that has fallen. When you go near it with the rocks, you actually watch as, like, they start almost rewinding themselves back up. But hmm. then when you step away, it goes back down. There are buttons on the de- uh, there are buttons on the device. Oh, I can't wait for oh, this. No. Oh, <laughs> the right person has this. Um, you know what? I'm gonna see if I have some sort of remarkable stroke of genius and understand what some of these means with an intelligent check. Confirm that for me, please. <laughs> Uh, I do believe that is a natural 20. 
What this button do? <laughs> you press a button. You just straight up press a button. Boop. You can't help but no feel, like, just in your gut, you feel like... This one feels right. This, this is the button I should... This feels right. Standing, everyone watches as a round wake grass regrows in the spot where it was supposed to be. There is now a bright light that almost looks like you're standing in daylight surrounding him, and the pillar that's inside this radius returns onto its pedestal. Walking away from it, it's still there. I thought it was the Tesseract, but it was the Eye of Agamotto. <laughs> I am a god. <laughs> Ooh, shiny. Riss, Riss, you want to try? <laughs> he's, just like, he's just like, the moment he saw that, you just like, you looked out. Riss, can I? Oh, hey. Here. <laughs> I had it to Riss. <laughs> like, that one did the grass thing. I pointed to the button I pressed. Is there a button I have a bad feeling about? He just presses the button on the opposite end. Okay. Back to normal. I press the grass button again. <laughs> That's great. All right, let's let's go see Gorak. He's probably probably more. He probably knows more about this than us. This returns light to once that where is no longer. Says the Geo Sphinx. It's sounding like it's dying as you pull the thing away from it. I'm gonna walk up to the Geo Sphinx and press the press the good button. Beep. It returns. It looks like the one that was inside the castle. Hey, there you go. How you feeling? This one feels its normal functions in full effect. Well, glad we could help. Are you sure that is wise, though? Yeah, definitely. He's been helpful. Uh, if we take this. Little box away. It's, it's, are you going to be you're okay? You're going to be fine. That you're going to have to try that. He doesn't know. All right. Well, I guess we'll find trial, trial and error. You want to come with us? Yeah, we, we met another of your kind. This one was designated to keep the portal at bay. All right. Well, you keep that portal at bay. You're doing a great job. As you say, as you say that, Barabbas just goes, if we could somehow get the unicorns out here, do you think it's an extra way for them to leave? I mean, it depends Probably. on where that portal goes. Where'd you come from? Well, I mean, I don't know. I was just, I was just falling through a particular portal, and the next thing I knew, I was here. You remember that you what? were tasked to... I'm sorry. I just, I want, so I could be able to fill this <laughs> in. I know, but I, as in, like, this is all coming back to me. Oh, yeah, yeah, as it all come back to you. But all right, suddenly, so roll, an, roll a uh, knowledge check for me. Okay. So 18, hey. 21? 21. 21, yeah. yeah. That's a 21. You remember that... Uh, your order is somewhere near North Zealous, and your task was that the portal had That's reopened convenient. again. Your por your uh, the portal that you guys were thought was logged dead for eons that came from like another end of a old civilization that you don't even know because you're far too young to know that shit. It just suddenly turned on again, and you were sent in to investigate. Oh yeah, it's all coming back to me now. Basically, I'm just trying to figure out why all of these portals have been suddenly reopening. I mean, the heat of battle, I mean, I must admit, my lords, it was a very spectacular battle, especially with the, with the donkey punch thing. Yes, uh, <laughs> really. So it's probably us that's really to blame here. Uh, you go back and you, you can tell your people that there was a lot of donkey punching going on. Oh, I see. And unicorns I well, as I shall, well. I shall be sure to tell them that with great passion. The, the Geo Sphinx kind of like holds its paw up. If the originator interloper returns back, the portal will close. Oh, and well, then we should probably hold off on that until we uh, go see Gorik. All right. So are you ready to meet a unicorn, says, uh, <laughs> says uh, Barabbas. Oh, by the way, Barabbas is a giant, uh, a giant Aarakocra. He's a giant uh, red-headed Red. macaw. Okay. I'll say... Well, if he's anything as interesting as yourself, then his unicorns must be delightful. Let's go. All right, we lead the way back to Gorik through the... Before we go all the way to <laughs> Gorik, I stop outside the nut shack and press the nice button. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Probably know this reverses time, and it's just going to bring all the trogs back. I mean, it might not bring them back. It might undo whatever happened to them. That'd be... That'd be great. They'd probably so love you remember that. remember how Mama Trog is kind of like just stuck in the house? Yeah. Stuck in the house. Hi, Mama Trog. <laughs> you press the nice button. Boink. The house returns itself. 
and you watch as the head of a trog slides off the roof and hits the floor. Mama Trog, no! Okay, we don't, should leave. We should go. Don't worry, she can't die. I mean, she can't die, but, oh, this probably doesn't feel good. I walk over to the Mama Trog face. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to do that. That nice button seems rather ironic right about now. <laughs> yeah, we should go. All right, yeah, she's fine. Me. I mean, as fine as she Roll was before. Up. You guys hear, like, this weird, like, the sound of, like, when a bird hits a window sort of sound, <laughs> just amplified. Roll a persua- uh, perception check. Uh, 19. Seven. Uh, modified 20. 12. I'm too focused on Mama Trog. Ezra and, uh, Ezra and our new friend here start to Sorry. hear, like, that sound kind of coming from up top. You're watching as this really blue lizard keeps trying to bang his way into the shield. You remember a certain teenage dragon as it's roaring from the outside trying to claw its way in. Is that Pabs, Robbie? I look up. It super is. Huh. He's probably pretty pissed. We should move. <laughs> He's throwing lightning out at the water. Your watch <laughs> as the entire outside of the oh, water no. just flashes. We might want to get out of here. Do you think he took care of the trogs? (laughs) Or do you think... I mean, either that or they drove him out here. Either way, I mean, that's where Red's journal is. Yeah, we're going to need to go back in there. Yeah, at some point. The trogs are are nice-ish. Do you you wish that... Red's just like, I want to go back in now. I'm not waiting on this. Yeah, let's go. (laughs) So, I I, I bet the nice button can fix the bridge and we can get right back. Yeah, probably. Nice button's pretty good about a lot of things. Let's go see Gorik, though, first. He's kind of on the way. All right. He has those nice fruit. Also, you have uh, Granger Fault with you this whole time. Oh, yeah. How you <laughs> doing back there, buddy? Was there a giant Granger Fault on giant Eloy's back that could have been talking to us? <laughs> yep. <laughs> he, he just stayed out of it. It's good for him. Probably better that way. Excuse me. Um, Granger Fault is not saying anything as of right now. He's just too ecstatic about the fact that there's another one of Ludarius's kin. He actually like says this a little bit. He's just like... I can't believe that a part of our a part of our kingdom still thrives somewhere. This is living proof. We can return to the surface, all of us. Yeah. I'm sure you'll I'm sure that'll be great for you. Something like that, I think. Uh, Damn it all if I wasn't stuck in this horrid form. Yeah, that's pretty You're, rough. There's a staff with a really, really log jawed face at the, at the hey. end of it talking behind what Eloy. Use the nice so I'm just, I'm looking with a quizzical that, look and it says, fault. and I you got in this button. form, how? He was a ghost man and he was powerful mad. So we sort of double murdered him. And then he, it's complicated. You he's, he's a stick now. <laughs> You've got a very strange way of making friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All right, so you guys are all heading back. Yep, we'll head to Gorik. All right, so and I whispered Ezra, I've kind of pressed it in our vicinity like several times. Yeah, fair enough. So you head back. There's Gorik. The other unicorns are now standing in a much more powerful barrier. Hey, we uh, got this thing. They like you watch. There was a bunch of unicorns stand by and open the portal with their horns for you, and you could walk through. Thank you. Like a bunch of like the little small kids are just like dancing around, like oh yeah, well you like everything's back. You actually you're not dead, Gilbert. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's gonna go for a high five with high his hoof. Yeah, I, he, I like he like rears up. I high five him back. Yeah. Oh, you like no? Hold on, roll for awesome. Yeah, roll for awesome. <laughs> Nineteen on the die. It's pretty fucking awesome. Yeah. Not awesome for him. You kind of like slap him on his hoof and he rolls on his back. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> You look, yeah! you look awesome. <laughs> all the unicorns are like notice a device in your hand, and they're like, you all hear hush whispers like, they actually passed. The mortals passed. Yeah, I got this thing. It wasn't that hard. I just use a giant me to crush other smaller people. I tuck uh, Granderfall back into my pack while they're all <laughs> yippying and talking. Yeah, you hear Granderfall hush in your head. A wise choice. <laughs> so here's the thing. Real quick, we're going to make a, a small detour before handing this over. Because our friend here lost something in the dragon's cave, and with this, we should have a way to get and back to it. that dragon him. is pissed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they all they all look up. They all look up, and there there's him just going. Yeah, uh, you said you might be able to do something to repel him. 
He seems Gor pretty repelled. Gorik might he's definitely out. Uh, one of the unicorns looks to you. Gorik might be more in the ways of doing so. Yeah, that's, I, all right. I, I thought we were in front of him. All no, right, you're not in front. You, you were you were just on the outskirts. They let you inside. Yeah, we moved to Gorik. <laughs> uh, explain the situation. You explain the situation to Gorik. Uh, you are now standing before like a huge unicorn, like triple the size of all the other ones around you. And there's a Geo Sphinx that's covered in moss behind him. Like, wait, like, in the better condition, like, before they press the nice button on the device. Yeah, I'm just, like, I'm standing in awe right now. It's, like... Yeah, because you're looking at pretty much just, like... Uh, yeah, there's a, there's living records. proof of your old kingdom here. Yeah, it's just, like... It's just, like, on the packaging. <laughs> <laughs> As in, like, I remember from my childhood, I used to have, like... I used to have, like, you know, these kind of... These thick, these items which you know resembled unicorns, but I couldn't remember until now, and it's just like it clicks in my head, and it's just like. Isoria <gasps> is a unicorn girl name. <laughs> it kind of is. <laughs> She'd have one of those folders. She'd draw them. I know, right? <laughs> I don't know who you are. Oh, one of the, the the artworks of Frankish Lisa. <laughs> <laughs> one of the, one of the little Lisa kid unicorns like waddles on up to you, with like this really freakish looking red balloon fish in its mouth. You look new. Do you know how to play punt the bowler fish? Is that stupid Greg? Yeah, it's stupid Greg. Oh my god, stupid Greg's great to punt. You gotta punch stupid Greg. Punt stupid Greg. Um, I get my quarter stuff and I just no 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 punt. Gonna kick it. No, he can do whatever he or she can do whatever she wants. I apologize. All right, it's fine. I just get my quarter stuff and I'm just like, as in like, I'm motioning as in, are you sure? Do it. All right, I I basically I kind of just got with my quarter stuff. Roll the hit. Okay, that's a twenty. It's a that's a strength. That's a strength probably thing. So it's. Let's use your quarter staff. Yeah. All right. Attack damage. Roll the hit first. Okay, that's eleven, ten, ten. That's fine. You hit him. Like you, <laughs> you just you just like lightly bop the thing in the side of the head. Bonk. The fish like waddles back and forth like just swinging there. Oh, he didn't scream. Ah! Yeah! They did it! As, so as, as the, fish, the fish opens its mouth and lets out a blood curdling scream. And I'm so. Oh, God, I'm so sorry! No, no you did you, it! That's the, that's you the, did it! That's the goal! Oh! Good game? You don't have bloater fish where you're from? No. No, you do not. <laughs> this is a They're very, not on the coast. This is she, a very this strange. Is inland. This is a very strange contest. D but did I win? You did! Here, well, you get this shiny rock! Hands you a diamond. Magically hands you a diamond. And I'm just like... I just get my dress... And I'm like... <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I'm just like... We didn't give you your prize either because we thought you were a trog. Here you go. Hands oh. you a gem. Cool. You, you get a small, like, knuckle-sized ruby. Knuckle-sized ruby. Neat. Oh, that's... That's real good, but the only precious red thing that I care about is missing a journal. Yep. <laughs> red just turns and looks at you. You're lucky I take salt and sweet together, Eloy. <laughs> I'm the salt. So, Gorik now looks before you. He looks at the device you're now holding. You've actually succeeded. Yeah, I pressed the nice button. Bink! You hear bone crunching. Well, that's probably not a good thing. Gorik stands up, like, oh, like, lit, like, holds his hooves up. And he has a lot more mobility now. You hey. actually cured his, you cured his uh, paraplegism. Cool. <laughs> Why this is a miracle? I didn't, I didn't believe you would use, you would use the light of Ludarius so for us, for me alone. Uh, it has such small uses. Oops. Uh, oh. Don't press the other button. The one on the back. That'll... All right. Well, uh, I don't know what I'm doing with this anymore. Here you go. <laughs> I just set it down next to him. You watch as the horn kind of like glows and he lifts it up to himself. Oh, I see. You've used this a few times. Yeah. The light's kind of fading. Yes. <laughs> but pray tell, another ASMR. How, how, could, how could this be? What uh, happened? She walked through a portal after, like, while we were doing our, uh, while we were doing our little test of Will. And Another big... portal still exists? Yeah, there's a Sphinx back that way. Also healed it with that, so, the. yeah. That's what you used it for? By God. 
Uh, by, by gods. <laughs> by, by gods. By the grandfather. We could leave. By grandfather. Ma Ma'am, like you watch as this giant unicorn now just like towers over you and leans down almost like in a bow-like state, like putting its one hoof down to kneel before you. I, my lady, I don't know who you are or where you come from, but please, is there a way you could ferry me and my people to the surface? Well, I got in through one portal. It might be possible. I, if, I, if I came into here, I should be able to get out. If I have the right information, then I could return. My lady, you are a savior to the last remaining of the Old Kingdom. You will be known as a hero for this. Oh. <laughs> I think that's just a tick they have. I think that's. I think they do that when they're satisfied. It's all the, all the, yeah, the, and then there's Caster. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think Confirmed. All Asimar in this universe. <laughs> oh. Just <all laughs> satisfied. This is just a, I, How do you take I, this? I, I am just like, I'm just like, I'm, I'm flattered because I'm like, I did good. <laughs> so I'm like, and then I just kind of like, I pull out a locket, which is like one of my special, like, my special owner's thing and say, we did it, mother. We did it. I sheepishly well. raise a hand. Your Highness, I, we, we have one quick errand that we'll, we'll have to run b before we can do this. Yeah, you know that dragon up there? He's, uh, he still has a bunch of our stuff. I mean, he's obviously not there anymore, but... Uh, That's kind of the point. We want to get that stuff while he's not there anymore. Yeah. And I do believe if he is not there, then his cave is full of drugs. Trogs. Yeah. I believe they called themselves the Ever Grudge. <laughs> oh, those creatures. Those are the ones that have devoured the rest of my people. Yep. Them. Yeah. I would gladly, look, I would, I would gladly assist you, uh, accompany you to finding your lost items. I can repel those creatures off into the ocean and watch them suffer. That'll work. That sounds awesome. <laughs> They'd probably be into it too. That's a win-win. Yeah. yeah, they get a long nap. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> well, with your permission, sir, I would, I would like us to make haste towards that since we don't know how much more light we've got and that dragon seems really mad, but he might go home eventually. <laughs> Do not worry. As you watch as he, like, holds the cube and, like, there's actually, like, a gold, like, saddle behind him. He looked like he was, a, he was supposed to be made for riding, but you actually watch as, like, where the saddle is, there's a slot and he puts the cube in it. Do you like, reckon Big Giant Mongo Wake could have rid him? <laughs> I don't know. Like, I think Big Giant Mongo Wake was a little too big. Maybe lo slightly larger Wake could have. We may pat. Le let us make haste. The only <laughs> Gork's way just like, what? The fuck? what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Gork's just like, what the fuck? Gork uh, pretty much is telling you now that, well, he knows of a way to uh, get up to the mountainside, which is the broken bridge, which he can fix. The only problem is, is that there might be an evil haunt inside the, inside the tower. Oh, don't worry. I think we may have taken care of that. You exorcised the demon? Yeah. It was real difficult. But our, you see our buddy over there? At point of risk, who's like half death. Yeah, he, uh, he went through quite the ordeal exercising that. He's quite the holy man. Oh, this poor child. This poor mortal. Ha his soul is part himself and part another. Riss just looks up. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> you mean hey, it's real? You got two souls now. <laughs> I do not know You're what other resides beyond. inside of two him, souls. but it is something that is far greater than that of any mortal soul. I, I, I nudge him in the shoulder. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> You're watching as a small kobold is just like jittering uncontrollably, just like, Super excited. Yeah. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's red, Bar red and Barabbas are just like, oh, fuck no. <laughs> All right, well, we'll get a move on that way then. All right, so with that, I'm pretty much just going to fluff this. That's fine. We, yeah. travel, we travel back across the bridge. You tra well, you get well. to the part where the bridge is broken off, and you watch as Gorik uses his horn to actually lift up the broken piece and put it back into place with minimal effort, mind you. Thank you. Meanwhile, Pabs Robbie's still above us. You son of a bitch! Yeah, yeah, you're just watching. You actually hear just a muffle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
I don't suppose we have time to, to fix up the labyrinth and go through that, do we? That sounded like so, ever so much fun. I wish not. <laughs> All right. It, it was enough. a long shot. No, right, don't are. worry. Maybe later, because since we lifted this bridge piece, the labyrinth should be back to normal. <laughs> the moment I step through that portal, this entire barrier will collapse in on itself. I'll swim through it later. <laughs> yeah. yeah. We still got that diving bell. Yes, I mean, we got have... we got the whole world to explore. <laughs> I'm sure we'll find another labyrinth someday. <laughs> I assume a lot of you wish to return from whence you came from. Yeah, yeah probably. Nice. Although we will miss you guys. I was looking forward to trying to find a nice island for you, but hey, getting straight to somewhere where everybody will oh, no. be great. You, uh, you pretty much can... Uh, I know this is going to be hard to explain since you just came in here as a guest character, but that North Zealous, that's inland from where you guys are. She's in the biggest capital city of the Navy. Yep. So you're pretty high up there, high society. <laughs> Well, yes. Mm. So it might be worth your while to accompany me, or at least towards the place where I'm going. Uh, we have we have a ship. I'm sure we'll meet up at some point, though. Yeah, uh, Re- uh, you see Risk go to you. We plan to go to South Zealous. Huh. In order to make our way to North Zealous. Well, South, anyway. Yeah. Because North would mean that... Yeah, we have to get through the South. I think we're both saying the th- same thing, but we're just kind of stumbling over yeah, each other. Yeah, I... The portal will take us to North Zealous, so we no longer need to travel through South Zealous, is what we're saying. Yeah, but... But then you would be branded as criminals for going in without civil... Yeah, yes. we'd also be leaving the Yeldon behind, as well as everybody that we left at Ebercall. Pretty so, much. Let's so, just, let's just go get the stuff. <laughs> so, you guys walk through. As you're walking through, you kind of notice that there are, like, bloody stains adorning the walls. Huh. And, and body parts of trogs that are kind of just, like... They're not even, like, the blood's not dripping. It looks like it's trying to repel and crawl against the wall. That's Gorik pushing it all to the side. Glad we didn't get on your bad side. With that, you now enter into the horde room where Pat's Robbie was. And there he is up in the up in the barrier hole, just like, no, no, <laughs> trying to rip it up. So how much space do you have in that bag of holding, Barabbas? Because there's a <laughs> lot of gold here. <laughs> Enough. <laughs> All right. I am going to do an investigation check to see if there's anything neat aside from that armor. Yeah. Uh, also to look for Red's armor, or Red's diary. Don't worry. Red was on that And ship. my raptor sex bomb. I want it back. That's gone. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> he's used it. it is. I just want to see, like, little raptors swimming up next to him. <laughs> <laughs> Red finds the book. All right, cool. Uh, I got a 16 for... All right. I now, see that. Now I see here that comes there. a good time to Finally, roll me. My, my treasure. My treasure hunting oh, abilities finally treasures. comes in. I got a nat 20 on my investigation in this room. I hope I finally, find some I fucking Finally, here. the new dice. Yo, <laughs> here you go. This is the treasure die. Roll it twice. I'll use my special new method. What's that symbol? Got one of those. Did I give you the wrong one? Uh, no. Is that the trap dice? Uh, looks like a little Mona Lisa looking thing. That's art. Okay. okay. You so found I, some art. So I find some cool art and. Looks like coins and like a stick. Coins and a stick. Why don't we get the like die again? Your treasure die. I need a, I need a legend. A mundane item. Okay. So art and a mundane item. So, hey, it's still two things. All right. So you find in this room, apart from all the golden shit you see, like mm-hmm. everyone's going to be walking away with some fat cash out yeah. of all of this. Assuming we can outswim Pops Robbie. Mm, that's actually a good point. Uh, so you find a scepter. All right. You find a small scepter with a tiny little brass dragon kind of curled around it. Uh, a part of that, <clears throat> excuse me, I'm sorry. As for the art piece, you find a small statue that Risk actually uh, would like to take a look, and barring some things that he's found, he finds that this is actually an effigy of the collective one. Mm. Pops Ravi got around, apparently. He got a Godzilla miniature. Neat. And it doubles as a lighter when it does its lava dunk. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, what'd you roll? Uh, I rolled a 16. 16. 
you find another mundane item, unfortunately. That's uh, oh However, my. it is a very expensive one. You find what looks like, like, you find a chest, and it, obviously it has gold in it, but that's all it has. Ah. But the chest itself is actually ordained to look like a dragon. Ooh, dragon chest. You probably could sell this off for a very pretty penny. And now what'd you get? And I got a modified 20. Is the scepter of a length that I could use it as a cool cane? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I know what I'm twirling around when I'm gonna <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, come one, come all. <laughs> you, you also find art. You actually find a... <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing this. You find a small... Uh, you find a small, what looks like a die. It looks like a 1d20. <laughs> All right. But every time when you start moving it, the numbers shift in place. Almost magically, like, the etchings move alongside the die. <laughs> and when they move out of the way, the number 8 reveals a message. <laughs> Maybe someday. <laughs> Maybe someday. The magic d20. <laughs> Which is a real thing. All right, and so we uh, <laughs> pocket a like however much gold and, that. Yeah, the gold is un unfortunately gold. is uncountable at this point. <laughs> That's fine. Caster's well, taking a majority of it anyway. We'll yeah. divvy it up later. Red is also has found her journal. You just watch as she clutches it to herself, just like, no, it's mine. It's my precious. There, promise fulfilled. I'm gonna throw this out there. If I'd known how to, how important that was, I would have offered to trade my daddy's joke book for it. It's quite all right, and now we just have to worry about that. I wave to him. <laughs> He's a card. <laughs> yeah, you're kind of like watching as this really fucking pissed off blue dragon is kind of trying to claw its way inside. Yeah, and I'm just looking at Wake, kind of just like almost kind of like just chuckling to himself about it. I'm just like, and I'm thinking, are you going to donkey punch that thing too? I'd rather not have to, but... Yeah, no. I'm gonna have to get rid. Of, gonna have to get away from it somehow. Goric looks to you all. Though you did pass the trials, I would wisely advise against a dragon, no matter what its age. Yeah, I don't even have Mongo with me. If I had Mongo with me, Mongo could at least do something. <laughs> Who the fuck is Mongo? Okay, it's just big me. <laughs> well, you also look up and swim past a small trog covered in ichor. <laughs> Get him! <laughs> I point at the dragon. <laughs> the dragon like looks back. He doesn't see him. <laughs> <laughs> with that, you all collect your gear. You pretty much walked out with some really sizable treasure. Uh, they finally get back to the castle. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm kind of like trying to wrap this up. No worries, yeah, it's fine. Um, I ask Gorik, so are you going to need that cube to get out of here? Unfortunately, yes. Oh, well. I'm sorry that you wish to covet this as a prize. I can no, see it in it's, pro it's probably something that somebody might trade for something very important. Also seems very important to, to your people, and that's... That's bring, more important. As long bringing as this that. back with this young lady, we can possibly bring back the history of our people and a gap of knowledge that once was what happened to our kingdom to light to the surface. And my children, he looks to the rest of the other unicorns, they could see daylight for the first time in, I don't even know if our, their generations even have seen sunlight anymore. Well, you they get out there. They can bask in the father's glory once again. Second question, that spoopy dragon up there, Anything you can do in the short term to help while we try to make a quick escape before you guys take your portal and before return I to take, the surface. Before I take my leave, I can try to repel the dragon, at least barring you a few more moments to at least escape to the surface. Good, because we'll need to get to that diving bell, which is outside a waterfall, which is, last I checked, inclimbable. As you guys are talking about this, you walk over to a ward where the maze was. You watch as the bridge is no longer there anymore, and it's flat, so you could just pretty much walk across. Yeah. He looks to he gathers his people and he tells the rest of the unicorns to head that way. He and the Geo Sphinx are left standing and he looks to the lot of you. I would suggest you make your leave back over towards where to, where you came. When we no longer feel your presence, I will release the barrier and we will walk through. So you're standing beside them as well. I'd say and I'll say, Well, it may have been a brief time, but it was certainly pleasant getting to know you wandering natural people. 
And I just walk over to Wake and I put my hand on his shoulder and I just go like, Do not worry, my friend. We shall tell for many centuries about the delights and wonders of your donkey punch. I look forward to hearing about it when I get to North Zealous. You shall be of legend, my friend. Yes. <laughs> you just make sure to tell him just how big that donkey dick was. And then I just Easy, put, I, Eli. It was, <laughs> let's not overcompensate. Yes. And I just... I, I just, mean, he, he I, is a... I'm, so, I'm sorry, just to quickly say this before you enter in your thing. He kind of is a lord bard now. <laughs> and then I just put like my hand on, like... Eloy's shoulder. Don't worry. Good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's an inside joke for other reasons. <laughs> <laughs> Layers to that one. <laughs> All right. All right. We're yeah. gonna try come, to make. Come our... see us at Phoenix Comic Con. I'll probably yeah, tell it again. You'll hear that story. <laughs> okay. So I'm gonna quickly get us to the end of this real quick. No, because so, we're uh, gonna need to escape Pav's rabid abbey. Well, no. Uh, you guys make it towards the end where you pretty much the entrance was towards the diving bell. I'll just say flavor wise, like those of us that can climb, scale our way up and then lower rope down to people who can climb back up the waterfall. Oh yeah yeah yeah. Yeah. That's we have to go out the way we came in because that's where the bell is. No, the bell's actually near the front, remember? The, uh... You, you, you head over towards where the uh, pathway was where you thought you couldn't mm -hmm. enter from. That was, like, the tower entrance. That was, like, the shorter way to swim to, not the hole near the side. Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, you actually watch as Gorik's kind of, like, magical aura goes against a couple of debris and reforms a small bridge to the, to the bell. Oh, oh So, like, it's a helpful. small tunnel that goes to the bell. Ooh, handy. Go right ahead. Though that does leave a question as you watch as Pat's Robbie kind of like starts lurching your way, like I'm gonna get you. All right, let's move. I'm quick. gonna get you. <laughs> as a torrent of water pushes him away, you kind of almost see like a giant catcher's mitt of energy. You just go, <laughs> nope, not today, and push him away. Just slap him aside. All right. Um, I usher like I, you get, I inside get out the of the water. Bell? I don't get in. I oh. usher everybody towards the bell. Everyone can get back inside pretty much. All right. All right. I, I wave goodbye to Gorick and Gilbert. Oh, no, they're gone. You, you yeah. left them. Like, you saw right. that well, last before. We bid adieu. Yeah, you bid adieu. Now you're watching as, like, the, the shielding is now breaking apart as water is coming in. All right. I swim up to the uh, rope of the bell, and I give it, like, two tugs. Just let him know. All right, bring her up. It's been, like, four more hours. So by this point, they're just like, oh, okay, shit, so they're probably so, dead. So we're at 28 hours. <laughs> yep. With that... They're, like it takes a little bit, and then finally, after like a few attempts, you finally feel I, I just, motion. I just pull out the I just pull out the communications thing, <laughs> like the I pull out the scrying orb. <laughs> you watch as Ziaka kind of just goes like, "What? Mm. Oh, it's on! Oh, it's on!" She like kind of like shoves all the gold like in, in the picture away. Like, "Hi guys, how's it going?" <laughs> I, I point at the bell. And I point up. Oh, okay. I will be right back. She puts it down, but then she let you like look. She puts it down. You see, on the other end, all the gold inside the Yeldon is in her room, and then she flips the thing around so it faces a window. I roll my eyes a little. <laughs> <laughs> Up, you guys go. Uh, the diving. You're looking outside the diving bell. Like everyone's kind of like worried that Patsarabi is kind of like on the way. Although you do, as you get to the surface, notice that there's a second ship next to the Yeldon. Uh oh. You hoist up. It's a Vorpal. It's one of the naval ships. Crap. But that's not the worst part. Looking down below you is a very angry blue dragon. <laughs> As it breaks the surface and you guys try to scramble onto the Yeldon, Pat's Robbie kind of lurches up out of the water looking at the rest of you. Hey, Pabs, how's it going? You. All of you. You will all suck. <laughs> A giant brass claw lurches out of the water, hoists him up, and coming up from besides the Vorpal naval ship is a giant dragon's head. Hello, <laughs> it's me! And that's where we stop. <laughs> what the fuck have we stumbled into? I Gore. Think, I think dragon. we just figured out what Lieutenant Gore is. <laughs> he might be a giant brass dragon. <laughs> In human form. He is an ancient brass dragon. Jesus, fuck. <laughs> Don't fuck with the Navy is what we learned today. <laughs> I punched and made a dragon bleed. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, well, well, that's it. Thank you so much for being on. Yeah, thank, thank you. you so much, Masako. Yes, thank and, uh, you. Before we go, we do have some fan art. Ooh, yes, fan yes. art show off. And Ooh. by the way, for those wondering, uh, in lieu of a fan art stream today, it will be going on on Friday at its normal time at two o'clock. Uh, so tune in on Friday on Stream Four Star for the, the full uh, full fan art sp- yeah, yeah. fan exploitation spectacular. I'm trying to s- slightly different schedule. See how this yeah, works. Shifting some stuff around because we thought we'd play the replay of last episode this time. Helps people catch yeah. up before the show. Yep. Catch up before the show. Let us know how you thought. Of, let, let us know what you thought of that. I like checking the archives for comments. So now is a good point to put you know what you thought of us running the replay instead of. Uh, Doing the fan art thing. The fan art thing is still going to be happening. It's just on Friday. Fan art Friday. Fan exploitation Friday. It just kind of works. All right. Anyway, so for our first bit of art, we have this lovely piece by Bracky. <laughs> 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 He's still floating down there in the abyss. Hey. I love dad's. I love dad's face. Hey. <laughs> he's like he's like a he's like an old dried up brine shrimp. It reminds me <laughs> of the chocolate. She has the chocolate. <laughs> yep. Thank you so much, Bracky. I remember when they first made grudges. I hated it. (laughs) Come on, take my father. (laughs) Please, just have him. (laughs) Thank you so much for that one, Bracky. Next up, by Dimira, third-rate gear, we have this amazing uh, depiction of what Victor turned into after he became a monstrosity. That's a nightmare. Okay, so what's great about this is that you just grabbed the PNG off the Twitter I did and not, it yeah. fits with the picture on it his does. background. It looks, like he's, it looks like he's a kaiju coming out of the water. <laughs> it's great. That's awesome. Yeah, you can see the little worm part dangling off him. The little... Hey, uh, Eloy, kill your friends. The little, <laughs> ca- the little Cthuloid mind flare head. And then, of course, his horrible disgruntled tentacle face. Yeah, this is great. Like... Holy shit! Thank you so much. Third rate gear. Uh, they said that like they literally just caught up to the end of chapter one, and now oh, they're wow. moving on to where we are now, and oh. we're about to move on to chapter three. So yeah, yeah. Get ready for that. Yeah. So pretty much we're like at the, unless we're doing like a fluff episode next time, we pretty much reach the end of chapter two. Cool. All right. Well, we'll. I guess we'll figure that out because we still have to. You know, just just. Wrap everything up in a neat bow. Over yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's yeah. why I said, like, barring yeah, a filler that's, episode. That's, that's, like an ep- that's like an epilogue. Yeah. Episode, which I think this chapter deserves. Next up, by Mostly Fun Stuff Arts. I know it's going to be kind of hard for everybody here at the table to read. Yeah, it But they've been, they did an amazing... Yeah, I, I uh, actually yeah, saw Yeah, but everybody that. at home can read it, and that's what's important. Yes. They did an amazing uh, little comic here. It's actually a three-page comic of uh, the Natural Wonders cartoon series. Of course, you can see the uh, Cleopatra doing battle I love with Ezra's design. Ezra. Yeah. Like, getting clawed up, and then, uh, don't worry, Wake's got, Wake's got the whip, and Eloy's got the blast from his mighty guitar. How does it end? Uh, go ahead and check out Mostly Fun Stuff Arts, MFS Arts, on uh, Twitter, and you can find out. Or tune in on Friday, because we'll be looking at this whole thing. Right on. It's great. Thank you so much, MFS Arts. I love their design for Cleopatra, for various reasons. Uh, next, two, up, two big important reasons. Two big important reasons. Of course. Yes, it's how I described her. <laughs> next up, yeah. Here I gotta scroll down Ooh. to this one. <laughs> yep. By Baby Dragoon Thirty Four, we have asshole v asshole as Wake can't stand <laughs> this caster's nonsense. <laughs> I hate him so much. I'm just too good for it. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yeah, this is this is this has like anime rival written all over it, but for no apparent reason outside of him just being of a higher class. Uh, I hate him so much. He's just such a snob. He got away with everything scot free. Unless the fluff episode has anything to say about it, we'll, we'll find we'll out. Yeah, thank you so much uh, for this one, Baby Dragoon. Great stuff. Next up, uh, it's a really slender one. Ooh. But it's a great depiction of all of our dice rolls working in tandem <laughs> to save Eloy. <laughs> this is by P-H-E underscore Knack, N-A-C-K. All that stands between life or death is a single dice roll. And a kind Zito. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! <laughs> we lived! My dice rolls were okay for that one. Yeah, th- this was me for those two net woods. Oh, look at that. You're fine. <laughs> My athletics roll could have been better. I, I rolled like a 10, but... Well, I dropped a hammer. He dropped a nat one, he dropped another nat one, and then you dropped a nat one. I'm like, what the fuck? What are you guys doing to me? 
Stop trying to kill yourself! <laughs> Stop trying to commit suicide, you cowards! <laughs> Thank you so much for this one, Fenac. Next up, by Marvel Poison, we have this adorable Yo. baby Nedra. <laughs> Look how cute she is. Yeah. She's got off a killing spree. Dad, Nothing. I killed my first human. You did so well, child. Continue. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing Tell alarming here. Tell me when here. you've reached 20,000. Okay. <laughs> I got two. <laughs> Does Three. that count? Add a couple of zeros, sweetheart. Okay. <laughs> Marvel Poison, this is great. Thank you so much. She is terrifyingly adorable. Next up by Nanner Hannah One. Oh, <laughs> Risk. Got Yin Yang Risk. He's so happy and excited to be to have his new. <laughs> half his of soul God is back. gone. Yeah, to have half his soul ripped I from his body. I can be your Angle or your Damon. <laughs> 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 That's our Risk. Thank you so much for that one. Next up. It's a little bit of a scroll down. Oh. Yeah, I love this super cartoony style. I, I absolutely, I, I love the truck. <laughs> this is by uh, Scandranin01. Thank you so much for this one. It's almost like Star Wars. Like, I got gotcha. you. <laughs> Can we keep him? No. The Trog is almost like a mascot character in this. It's like a normal cartoon. With, with the way the Trogs were described, I was like surprised the one started talking to us. They seemed like just crazy Monsters. feral he lizard had year, He had a couple. He had like yeah. three thousand years to gain a, a communicational <laughs> yeah. skill. Yeah, he learned common in those ti in that mm. time somehow. That's okay, because uh, speaking of that incident, Scrap Paper 22 has this piece for us. Yep. Oh. Give a chop at my dad. Come on, go. Oh Can I try? Yes, go right ahead. Yeah, yeah, here you go. <laughs> He's just a little face looking on. Yeah. Come on. Oh, man. oh, that was a nice attempt. Too bad it's all in vain, though. Ah, I just keep coming back. We just keep coming back. We can't die. <laughs> Thank you so much, Scrap Paper 22. I've been loving your art for this stuff. Yup, just a big old gory mess in that one. The Evergrudge is ever going. <laughs> the Evergrudge is it forever. It never stops. Not, not for never. Next up by Leet Shannon L. She did this wonderful. Aww. She did this uh, wonderful series of crew shaming. <laughs> I, I like Siaka's the most. Just her face. I hoard all the forks. <laughs> <laughs> I got, to, I got to bring her back for a hot second. I love that. Yeah, there's a, there's a great series of these, so check them out. Uh, or you can, of course, follow the TFS Fan Art Twitter, where I retweet all of the great fan art that we get through here that we select through on this. Thank you so much, Leet Shannon L. Bless you. Thank you. Next up. Got to scroll oh. down. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Best boy, Gilbert. It's Gilbert. Yep. I think he was on the, uh, he thumbnail, was on the thumbnail last thumbnail week. Last time. Yep. This is by Stacy Lenigan. Look how happy he is. He's just so happy to have somebody to play with. Oh. Pretty eyes. Yeah, outsiders. Let me get that stupid Greg. <laughs> outsiders that aren't trogs trying to eat their blood. You know, just n nice people every now and again. There are other people outside who aren't trogs. <laughs> oh, this, this poor kid's gonna have culture shock going through that portal. <laughs> Everybody's gonna be like surrounding them. It's like. Ah. <laughs> Do you want to play with stupid Greg? <laughs> I'm real nervous word of fucking what's, what's his bad? name's research is going to reach the ears of the people who are supposed to be protecting the unicorns. It's like, what's, what's unicorn what? blood does what? What's stupid bad is that I could just imagine now that since uh, mortals can't go through the portal and like they're be like they're like part of the Ace of our tribe and everything, so like a bloaterfish doesn't go, no stupid Greg! <laughs> <laughs> stupid Greg left under the bottom of the ocean. Wake would make an entire quest to go back and get <laughs> stupid Greg. <laughs> Open the portal and just kick him through. Uh, next up. No, stupid Greg needs to take the trial of Will. <laughs> <laughs> we have to fight the giant bloater fish for it. <laughs> next up by Jasper PRL. Oh, wow. Ooh. Yeah. I love, the, I love the detail on this one. Great stuff. I think gangly wrist is my favorite look for him. Yeah, I mean, yeah. it makes sense. He's, yeah. a, he's a lizard boy. Can I just say how, like... Flattering it is that people actually use my style of cobalt when they do these fan art bits. <laughs> it's the kind of cobalt you made for it. I, I, it is, but I was just like, I was, I was half prepared for people to just revert to regular cobalt stuff because it's D and D. Right. But no, people have been sticking with the design of him, and I'm like, oh, that's actually super awesome. That's yeah. like super heartwarming. It's the cobalt of this universe. Yep, yep. That's how it works. 
But thanks so much, Jasper PRL. And is that the last one, or do I have one more on there? That's it. I think that's the last one. All right. Well, thank you so much for joining us here at the table. We love you all. Thank you so much for those of you that have subscribed and joined our crew. We love all of you for all that you do for us, all of your support. Thank you so much, and we'll see you guys next week at the table.